Thank you, Ivan, for gifting a sub to Warloo. Thank you very much, Al... Alf Stream... Alf Master. 200 bits. Make your forehead smaller and your bladder bigger. My bladder is actually half a liter bigger than it should be. Fun fact, I have overextended my bladder due to an incident a couple of years ago. I have about half a liter more pee in me than I should. I can have. But if I get to that point, I can't pee anymore and I have to go get it cathodered out. So hopefully I don't do that anytime soon. Greetings, brother. Um... But yeah, that's, that was a thing that happened. Thank you, Commander Cactus, for the tier 2 for 33 months. Thank you very much for the tier 2 for 33 months. Just looked recently at how much a tier 3 sub costs. Jesus fucking Christ. Some of you spend a lot of money on me, and that is fucking greatly appreciated. I was going to tier 3 to someone as a joke. Turns out, that's a lot of money. Not really willing to put down that money for a joke. Um... I do have big P. I have big P. And I can actually, to be fair, I can hold, the average bladder can hold about a liter from what I've been told. I can hold about 1.5 liters. And until I get to about 1.4-ish, I'm cool. So I can actually hold a lot more bladder in me, a lot more bladder, a lot more P in me than, uh, than usual. And by bladder, I mean bowls. Got big old bowls. Um, thank you very much, Zemidian, for the tip. Is that still funny? Is the bladder, the bladder, the pea stored in the balls joke still funny? Am I relevant, guys? Am I hip with the kids? I don't know where I'm hip with the kids. I don't think I'm hip with the kids. I think the kids have moved on to the funny TikTok memes. And I don't know, cancelling people on Twitter and stuff. That seems to be the hip new meme right now. Cancelling people. But not really, because you love them so much that you're not going to cancel them, even if they are abject pieces of shit. You're still going to love them, but you're going to you're gonna call them out for being problematic and feel like you've achieved something. And then go tell people that have also called them out for being problematic to kill themselves. Um, because you're just a cool kid like that, and you're 14 years old, and the idea of hypocrisy hasn't quite registered with you yet. Uh, thank you, Big Fly Wasp, for the Prime. Thank you very much again, Zemidian, for the tier 3 for 32 months. As I just said, fucking thank you so much for that, Zemidian. 35-year-old balding streamer. I'm not balding, I just have a very far back hairline. Look! No bald patch here. I just have incredibly dark hair and an incredibly white head. Thank you very much. Big love for the tier 1 for five, 25 months. A little bit more than 5 months. Thank you, Nap O Muk, for the $2. Uh, I'm Jolly. I'm play on easy. <laughs> Love how you, you simplified your vo vocabulary there. Just to, uh, just to make sure everybody knew it was me. Um, can I as feed? Thank you very much for the seven months. Man, this stream's just thanking people, huh? Dragon Devil, thank you very much for the Prime for six months. Five months, Jolly! Not in a row, but still counts. Well, you didn't count quite right, Dragon Devil, but five is close to six. I'll give it to you. Uh, Drosmail, way to die in a short tech demo. Yes. <laughs> Might have got the record there. Don't think many people are beating my record of, what, 25 deaths in like a 15-minute tech demo? Uh, VMAC, YouTube fan, checking in before bed. Thank you very much for the 20 months. Shit, VMAC. Probably, probably not here anymore. Get a haircut, hippie. I am, but not because you told me to. Thank you very much, Root T-Rex, the T1 for three months. E. Thank you very much, Root T-Rex, the 300 bits. Somebody told me not to give bits. I will make poor financial decisions all I want. Yeah, you do that. You do that. You fucking show it to the man. Give me all your money, Root T-Rex. Show him what's for. Yeah, you really fucking owned him, dude. You know what would really own him? Like, a hundred thousand bits. Just fucking all over my face. We were jelly in Half-Life. We thank you very much, Sarah Kuboon, for the T1 for six months. We indeed. Well, me. Playing Half-Life. We both here, I guess. If you're still here. Codec Pet Cow, thank you very much for the Prime. Thank you, Neo Quijen, for the T1 for 13 months. Hi, all. Hi, Jolly House things. There. Things of things. Thank you, Weirdmine, for five months. Thank you, Burning Man Snow, for the tier one. Can we play now? We can play now. Thank you, Still Phoenix, for the 100 bits. 
Let's go. In search of civilization. Why would you search for civilization? I don't belong in civilization. This has been well established. I am far more at home with the apes. Wow. In search of civilization in the sea. Looking for Atlantis. Oh, Alec, uh, Alec Ski Shuriken? Fucking ninjas. Shur Shurikin. It's a ninja death star. Um, there was just one title and then no other ones. Uh, any other ones gonna show up or is it just a one person team? Oh, there's another one, but I can't read it. Because the font is very skinny. And my resolution is very high. No, Vlad! Right. We've got vampires, we've got ninjas, and then we've got Bren. Nice. A really multicultural team. Hmm. How is this boat being powered? How is this boat being powered? <laughs> there doesn't appear to be a motor. Is it moving from mystical G-Man energy or something? Maybe, maybe I'm rowing and I can't see my own hands. Just drifting. Oh, the tide's just carrying us in. That's an option. Head crabs under the boat. <laughs> Using them as a form of propulsion. Oh, music! David. Bonnet. And Alexi Shuriken again. Why is David Bonnet in a different font? <laughs> Why is that in a different font? He, he's in bold, because you know, so you know he's important. And David Bella does something. I can't read what he does. I'm sure what he does is very important. So important we can't know about it. Really, if you could tell me what the fuck that says, greatly appreciate it. Because I fucking can't. Is this going to transition into the Skyrim opening? Here's hoping, dude. Here's hoping. Oh, birdie. Right, we're almost here. This is like the tram section in Half-Life 1. Just infinitely shittier. Whoop! Cut to black. What? Loading? 8-bit loading text? Uh... Um... Uh... Whoop! There we go. <clears throat> uh, the fog has cleared. Soon I'll be in the right place. Huh? What do you mean by the right place? Where are we going? Um... We've also come ashore. Whoop. Okay, let's just go out here. There we go. We could have just got off at the front of the boat and not gotten wet, but we chose to get off at the back for some reason. And, oh wow. No electricity anywhere. It will be difficult. <laughs> it will. It will be. Oh, I need to find, need to find an electric substation and some weapons. The text kind of appeared, then disappeared, then reappeared. I've got its dramatic, you know, like Star Wars intro thing. Um, right, right, okay. Couple of questions. One, how do we know there's no power? Where are we going? What are we doing? The title of this chapter was In Search of Civilization, so I guess we're going towards civilization. Um, by the way, if I look this way, my frame rate just shits the bed. I'm getting about 20 frames a second, which is nice. Uh, real cinematic. 
um, I guess we're going towards the low frame rate. A low frame rate means that there are things there. Which means civilization, and what the fuck is that? Right, okay. Um... Okay, okay. We need to find some weapons, and we need to find electricity. Whoop! Okay. That's... okay. Those are clear goals. I understand. Electricity is important. Here's how we live in our modern world. And that's just the headcrab zombie. Right, let's not go down there. That is not the place for me. Hmm. Right, well, this doesn't quite look like civilization. Although I guess it can't- it, it, this is civilization, it's the ruins of civilization. Where the fuck am I going? Um... I don't know, but I'm hurting myself by doing it. This looks like electricity, right? This- this looks like electricity? Yes, this does look like electricity. It does, Jolly. You're right, Jolly. You're so smart, Jolly. Oh, thank you, Jolly. Hope there's something good down there. Ah! <laughs> no! Only bad things! Why'd you have to jinx it, dude? Whoa! Oh, no! Good things! Desert Eagle! Very large Desert Eagle! Oh my god. Ow! And good down there? We're already down there. We're down here. What? <laughs> okay. Hmm, yes. I like this Desert Eagle. Sounds... crusty. Takes up... about 30% of my screen. It's real great. Real... great. Hello, dude? Hi? You are... you- you are okay? You're dead. I think. Or having a nap. <laughs> I can't tell whether he's dead or having a nap. Hello? Yeah, no, he dead. Right, okay. I'll turn... No, wait, wait, hold on. Okay, he's dead. That's right. It's difficult to tell if he was dead or just having a nap. Died with determination? Hey, the guy from the screen, yes. Okay, not that way. Maybe he's just having a nap. Maybe he's just sleeping. And I've just pinched his gun. <laughs> maybe, maybe he died of oxygen deprivation. Maybe his gas mask ran out. Just breathing in his own carbon mon monoxide for a little while. Dioxide. Monoxide? Dioxide. This frame rate's gonna give me a fucking headache, guys. It's gonna give me a fucking headache. I hope this is fucking short. You know what? I might... I might... I might do a pro gamer move here. Just turn everything down. I think I'll stay here and die. If this crashes, I swear to fucking god. Forgot to update the, the stream name. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. You need a refresh. That was a sick beak for a second there. Frame rate, slightly better. Good enough. Oh boy, and now the reflections look fucking fantastic. Um, right, what, what, wait, there's literally nothing else down here. Well, I guess I did get some stuff out of it. I got a fucking gun. I can't complain too much. And we got to see the sleeping man. Couldn't even put, like, a blood spot underneath him. Just sort of put him there. 
He dead. We have his gun now. Fast detect. Yes, that is the name of the mod. Right, well, I've got a gun. That's nice. It's not what our main character was looking for. He was looking for a civilization. And I thought that was a dude. I thought that was a dude in a ghillie suit with a gun. No, it is just a bush. It is just bush. <sighs> um... Sorry. This is, I think this is going to be almost a walking simulator. Oh, whoop. Wait, so we got two guns. It's not quite what we were looking for. We were looking for electricity and civilization, and all we found was a fucking MP5 and a Desert Eagle. Shit out of luck today. Hmm. Hmm. Still doesn't quite look like civilization. Ooh, what the fuck? That's. That's not civilization, but it looks interesting. Oh, fade to white. What? Huh? What'd I do? Where am I going? What in the ever-loving fuck? Um... Entrance. <laughs> uh... Think I found civilization, guys. Not human civilization, but... Battery and entrance. What?! Battery. Is somebody talking? Is that the music? Um... Huh? I feel like there's context I should be missing here, but... We weren't... We weren't given any co context. What? Whoa, low gravity. Definitely on a spaceship. Arsenal? Oh. Uh, right, right, right. N nice. Wow. Okay, I thought this might be like survival-ish horror -y game, but nope. Now we just we've just been given a bunch of shit. Also, there was a shotgun. And I didn't get the shotgun. Can I have the shotgun, please. Where's the shotgun? There was, there was a shotgun, right? Yeah, there was. Did I not have the shotgun? No, I'm not allowed a shotgun. I don't think I'm allowed a shotgun just yet. This is weird. Scream. <laughs> what? Screen? It's screen, it's the, it's the living room, guys. It's where we watch our TVs and our sitcoms. Sitcoms, sit, sit, sitcoms. Uh, let's go to Arsenal and Screen, which we've already been to, but... Briefing. You couldn't have made these corridors shorter. Hospital and Briefing. I need a briefing. Let's go to the hospital and briefing. You couldn't have made these corridors fucking shorter, my dudes. You really had to make us walk everywhere. Teleporter and grenades. What the fuck is this? No, not teleporter exit. I don't want to leave yet. Let's go to hospital. More hospital. Oh, alright, alright. The hospital is just a bunch of fucking green shit. That's not a hospital. Also, apparently, warning, overflowed client C7 something. Briefing! Yes, I'd like a brief explanation for whatever the fuck is going on here. Stage one. To stage one, to prison. Is this some fucking Mario 64 shit? What? 
Stage two, escape oil labs. What? <laughs> Wait, if do I if if I jump into the fucking painting and it takes me there, I swear to God. No. Okay. This looks like the dev room. Yeah, it wasn't particularly hard to find. Gonna be real. It's the dev room, you twat. Really? Really? So the dev room is as easy to access as just walking into a fucking glowing thing. You stumbled into the dev room. No, 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 no. I walked there in like two minutes. The dev room was visible from the fucking Greetings, goddamn brother. entrance. Pro tip, don't make your dev room fucking accessible in like the first two minutes of your game. It had a massive waypoint over it, yeah. Okay, let's go back now. Um, so that was just us arming ourselves. Where the fuck are we now? I don't know, but this isn't where I came from. Let's continue our quest for civilization and electricity. And a decent frame rate, because Jesus Christ! This mod has serious problems in more ways than one. Oh. What am I dying from? Is that rocket fucking killing me? Oh, okay. Telephone. Button, control panel. What the fuck is going on? I opened the door, guys. Where did the door go? Nobody knows. Yeah, okay. You know, usually I try and make funny quips while playing mods and, you know, follow along with the story and sort of inject myself into it. With this one, I'm just shrugging a lot. You can't see it. I'm just shrugging a lot. Because I have F ammo currently. I apparently accessed a room where I could just see the next levels before I'd even done them. And now I'm here. It's not much of a story to follow so far. Maybe, maybe it will be filled in later. Wait, what am I saying? Of course there's a story. We are man that was on boat and then got off boat and then needed electricity. And civilization. Oh, that's stolen from fucking portal. Whoop. I'll cast away my we weapons and try getting further quietly. Wait, what? Wait, what? This is the fucking entrance to City 17. No, what? What? <laughs> Oh, this is going places. This is going places, guys. Not places I expected it to go, but places. Oh, nope. Don't worry. It's not stolen from the intro to City 17. It just looks eerily similar. Hey, dude. What's up? Yep, you're just gonna pushy pushy. Of course you are. No, no, no. Stop playing this garbage. Can't tell me what to do. Oop. <laughs> Escape. Uh, what? Huh? From what? From who? Why? Huh? <laughs> hey. What? 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 Whoa, okay. Didn't like me breaking that. I'm just gonna... Pretty sure I can activate that. What did that do? Did I just get a drinky drink? I want a drinky drink. Mmm, delicious soda. 
Wait, hold on. Hey guys, what's up? Oh shit. Uh, I should probably escape, shouldn't I? Let's go back this way. What is happening? Oh, oh shit, I got the whole posse after me. And he's got a gun, come on dude. How am I supposed to beat you with a fucking gun? I really enjoy this. Cool, thanks dude. Fall down here, tell me to escape please. Come on now, do it. Here we go. Hmm. I want a beverage. Picked up the can. Fuck yeah. Oh, and I sent it through the floor. Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Hey, what's up? What's happening? Just, you know, detaining some people? Don't worry about me. You don't have to detain me. I'll detain myself. I'll put myself in jail. Hello? Tapping his foot. Oh, okay. <laughs> what is happening? Um, well, so far they haven't been attacking me, which is nice. However, that may change in a second when I... <laughs> run, run, go! Escape! I must escape. It was getting boring. I had to spice things up. Oh shit, through here! Did I just... I might have just put myself in jail, guys. <laughs> I might have just detained myself. <laughs> Unironically. Um... <laughs> Shit, whoops. Uh... <laughs> don't worry, you guys, don't, don't worry. I understand I did something wrong. I'll just put myself in the jail cell. You know, you don't have to brutalize me. I'll brutalize myself. Look, I'm already on 53 health. I'm already bleeding a bit. Um... Can I... What? Am I actually... Can I... Uh, for reals? Oh! <laughs> I did it, guys! I escaped jail! I did it! Oh, I make it look easy! I make it look <laughs> easy! Oh, fuck yeah! Oh man, the movies had it all wrong. <laughs> They made it look so hard in, um... Ah, oh, fuck, what do you call it? Not Stinder's List. The other one. The one with Morgan Freeman. Ah, oh, who cares? Um... Or not. Oh! Nope, yep, just use my head. Just bash my head right on through there. <laughs> my very own Shawshank Redemption moment. <laughs> They made it look so hard. Didn't even have to crawl through shit. Well, I had to crawl through a vent, but that's not shit. Uh, right, we're here now. We're out. We escaped into the room filled with gas. And a very loud drip sound effect. What the fuck are you playing? You know? If I could tell you what I was playing, I would. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. She scream. <laughs> Strip sound effect. <laughs> Slowed down for a bit and now they've sped it back up. <laughs> Why is it changing speeds? Oh, this is great. Oh, this makes me want to pee. This really does make me want to pee. Whoop. Oh, shit. Okay. All those crates just it had enough of life. It's so depressing. It's so depressing living under the Combine regime that even crates are killing themselves. They just don't want to live anymore. Um, what? Oh, shit! 
Um, 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 um. Uh, okay. Juked him. Or not. Shit. Fuck. Ah. Juked him. Where the fuck are we now? I don't know. Whoop. Doesn't matter though, because I got a gun. There we go. Hell yeah. Right, we escape through out we, uh right. Do we wanna try and, and and you know just think about where we've been over the past twenty-five minutes. We arrived on a boat, we looked for electricity and civilization. We got a gun. We went through a weird portal thing to a spaceship. We got a shit ton of ammo, weapons, and health. We came back down to the planet. We dropped our weapons. We went to jail. We escaped jail, and now we're here. <laughs> <laughs> the only answer is the creator was shit-faced. <laughs> Just perpetually drunk for the whole mod's development. It's the only answer. Um, maybe this is all like a dream sequence. That would make sense. Maybe this is all just a dream sequence. Maybe this is all just a dream. And this is the spooky part of the dream where we end up in the mansion. And the drip sound effect makes us really want to pee. Because in real life, we really want to go to the toilet. And subconsciously, we're just, you know, we're pushing ourselves to pee, yet we can't pee. For some reason, we're not allowed to pee. This mod is based around you pissing your bed. If this mod ends with me pissing my bed, I will. This is the best mod ever made. Without question. Without a doubt in my mind, the best mod ever play I've ever played. <laughs> this is all just a metaphor for wetting your bed. I don't even know if this is good to watch. Is this good to watch, guys? I'm not sure. Oh, shit. This is so discombobulated. I'm not... I'm about to run out of ammo. Oh, shit. Oh sh- what the fu- what the fuck? Fuck it, go towards the really fucking bright fire. Crawl underneath it? No, no. Oh, no, okay, apparently the fire is so hot, in fact, that it burns you even if you try and crawl underneath it. This is a solid meh. <laughs> That's good. That's good. You have to have a couple of meh streams. Oh, what the fuck? There was no save point there? For reals. Why did you put these boxes here? These boxes are only here to actually kill me. Actually. Why am I surprised? Why am I acting like this is, like that's ridiculous? Oh my God, the boxes fucking explode and hurt me? Wh why? This mod's been so simple and normal up to this point. No, that's- that's about on par with the rest of this fucking mess. Somebody got this on Steam. Somebody got this shit on fucking Steam. How? How did this get through the approvals process? Although I guess Hunt Down the Freeman got through the approvals process, so this isn't too far below that. Oh, that's mean. Your mod isn't as bad as- actually it is as bad as Hunt Down the Freeman who ever made this. Sorry. Um... <laughs> <laughs> that was mean to the devs of Hunt Down the Freeman. Uh, oh shit. <laughs> oh god. Why do they make the... Why do they make like the... Sound effect used in every fucking source horror mod ever? Ow, my fucking legs. I doubt the Freeman is hilarious because it's like a B-movie. This is hilarious because it's just fucking nonsensical. 
Um, I'm um, right. What do I do here? I don't walk... I guess... Do you do something with the fire? Nope. Nope. Definitely do not do anything with the fire. Do not go near the fire, or it will just insta-kill you. As we have thoroughly established now. Um, oh, hey. What's up, stalker dude? Again? Just sitting there? I... <laughs> really? They couldn't have made them look more dead than this. They are quite obviously just sort of fucking sitting around. I, I got no idea, guys. I got no fucking idea. What on earth is that shotgun model? I don't know. We'll check it out in a second. Game stupid. <laughs> you don't say. You don't say. Whoa! Spooky man. Okay. Has that spooky man been showing up before and we just haven't noticed him? That's not too bad of a shotgun model. I think he might have been. God, I just peed. I just peed and I already want to pee again. Because that fucking drip sound effect is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Why is it playing? It's a fucking omnipotent goddamn drip sound effect. It comes from no source. It just keeps dripping. <laughs> fucking drip, yes. I wonder how many of my viewers have gone, man, I just need to go to the toilet right now. I just need to pee. I gotta really pee. Don't attack me, please. Ah, I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna- I'm dead. Paid too much attention to the fucking stupid- Ah. Yeah, it turned into a different shotgun when I picked it up. It's not the first time, not the last time it'll happen. Yank. Okay. Kill these guys so they can't fuck me up. That didn't even kill the fucking head crab. Okay, there we go. Pull this. God, this mod is amazing. Yum! We have different definitions of the word amazing. Okay, nope! Here we go. Nope, other way. Okay, I think that's what I had to do. Yes, that is what I had to do. Good, thank God. Thank God. If in doubt, just pull the fucking red levers. drip sound effect is gonna drive me goddamn insane. I got here late. Would this make any more sense if I saw the whole thing? Uh, yeah, it all makes sense. It's really coherent if you just follow along with the story. Um, it won't make much sense if you haven't been here since the start, but there were some really great sequences early on that really cleared things up. I mean, really. You can't not understand what's going on if you, if you saw the intro. <laughs> you drive me insane, Jolly. How, how so? Whoop! Yep, whoop! Bam, we're here. And... <laughs> we can't go back. I was about to be like, and the textures behind us have suddenly dropped in quality. But we're literally unable to go backwards. Nice big old invisible wall. Whoop. What? Hello? Hello, sir? Whoop. Sorry. It's too busy paying attention to this man. Can I let you out? What the fuck is that? No idea. Ooh, there are head crabs in there. I want to say this reminds me of Stalker, but I feel like that is, that is insulting Stalker. Is it just me? Saying, oh, this reminds me of, this reminds me of a really good game. This is a bit insulting. 
Can I... No, I can change the color. That's cool. I can make those windows frosted with my trusty crowbar! Hi, dude. Hi, man. Where's your head crab? <laughs> I don't know. Ah, oh, shit. Come on, guys. How, what, what am I supposed to do here? Whoop! <laughs> Poof! There he goes. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. It's not a very good game. Greetings, brother. I think that's a bit of an understatement. But... Yeah, you know, that's... It's a fair assessment. It's a fair assessment. Okay, round two. Oh, oh wait, he spawned in a head crab. When he died, he spawned in a head crab. Uh, oh, oh, that head, okay. When they die, their head crab that the developer made invisible pops back into existence. And comes back to life. That's cool. God, this is a fucking wreck. Oh, God. He just, he just split in two. What the fuck? And I'm out of ammo. Well, fuck me. Jump. God, this frame rate is just shitting the bed. It is just falling apart. One second it'll be like a solid 80 and then just drop down a 10. Depending on what I'm looking at. Mitosis? Yeah, that's a big word. I couldn't have said mitosis. Do you think I'm a man who would have said, Oh my god, that head crab just did mitosis. Holy shit, guys. So that doesn't seem like a word that I would say out loud. And I cannot believe I got jump scared in this shitty fucking mod. Holy Jesus. This mod just jump scared me. That's embarrassing. <laughs> I was lulled into such a sense of security. It takes a lot of skill to fuck up the source engine frame rate. Yes, but these guys are up to the challenge. Have you, have you witnessed what I've been playing so far? It's not a big surprise. It's not really that big of a surprise that they managed to make a foxy waxy with the frame rate. Wow! Thank God for, like, universal traits of the Source Engine and Half-Life mods, where it's just Great follow things, the wire until you find the control panel, because I'm guessing this is going to open that door. Or not. Oh, maybe I still need electricity. Maybe we still need electricity, guys. Is it possible? Is it possible that we still need electricity? What the fuck? Where did you guys come from? Okay, we're saving. And hi. How are you? Oh, oh, oh. The, the, oh okay, the head crabs are just spawning in. Real spooky. I'm just gonna. God, I hate these guys. Why does it sound like he's, like, putting on latex pants when he hits you sometimes? It's the barnacle sound effect that he's making. Guys, I'm just reading chat right now. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he just falls over into death. That, that, brilliant, that, brilliant. Greetings, brother. Truly a fantastic game. <laughs> what the fuck is that even? That's like an Ethernet port. That is like 200 times too large. Why? What? Is that- am I supposed to be able to flick that? Is that like a switch? What is that? Whoa! Okay, well, back to- back to this again. Jump off. Yep. Kill him, and now just... Hey guys, I'm just gonna thank some subs and donators while we, while you crap while our game crashes. No, our game saves. Okay. Okay. Um, TF2 Gamer, thank you very much for the Prime subscription. 
1,000 view bots. Thank you for the tier one for 22 months. I only got here, so no, I've no, not wist, wist, witnessed what happened so far. Well, I'm gonna be real with you here. I was making a joke before. It doesn't make any sense. This mod makes no sense. In fact, it probably makes more sense if you didn't see the introduction. You can probably piece together a more logical story than what has happened so far in this mod. Use the SMG. I can't do that. I've got like no ammo for anything. I've got like no ammo for it. I'm not using what ammo I have for this on this guy. I know there's going to be a section later on where I'm stuck in a position in which I have to get out of a room. I just got hurt. Well, I'm not restarting because I've hit this guy too many times. Ah, oh, fuck it. Shot his legs out from underneath him. I've got more people to thank, but I'll uh, I'll I'll do it after I, you know, get through here. Or not? Okay, seriously, how the fuck do I open these doors? Oh my god! If I was watching Jolly and your Chinese water torture is music to my ears. <laughs> Don't lose your mind yet. <laughs> That's what the trip sound effect is. This is just what's going on in my mind during Japanese fucking Chinese water torture. That's the only logical answer. It's the reason there's always water sound effects. It's just that drip repeatedly hitting in between my eyes, and it's just driving me fucking insane. My mind doesn't know how to cope with it. You genius. Jimo. JJ Mo, thank you very much for the 2,000 bits. <gasps> that button works! Why does that one work and none of the other ones work? I don't know, but it works. Yes. Why does text-to-speech lady sound different? Because fucking Streamlabs was having a little tanty and wasn't reading out my messages. So I tried changing the language and I haven't changed it back yet. Somebody's just grunting. I don't know who's grunting, but somebody's grunting. Can I press the buttons now? I can! Yes! I've got more people to thank, but I'll, I'll thank you in a little while. What was that? Uh, that was the door sound effect, which played from over here, even though the door's over here. Uh, I don't know why I'm surprised. Also, there was no point in opening that fucking door, because I can just jump across there. Huh? Oh, lots of head crabs in there. Okay, before the, before the bottom door opens, just start shooting them. Quick sprays. Quick sprays. Okay. <laughs> Very large button. Oh, this does. Oh, it opens up that. Oh, hey. Don't mind if I do. Apparently all this ammo and gun is top- that, th that fucking skeleton just grew eyes. Hold the phone, did that skeleton just grow fucking eyes? Wait, hold- hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh fuck. Well, fuck it, it's worth it. That skeleton just grew fucking eyes and I am going to go... <laughs> I am going <laughs> to go... Fucking to see that is shit. That's fucking hilarious. No, I don't care if you call me an idiot for reloading. That's fucking worth it, because that's fucking hilarious. That fucking skeleton fucking had eyes pop into existence. The jump scare. That is fucking hilarious. It totally grew eyes. It totally grew eyes. Hold on. Look at this. Oh, ow! Uh, what? It didn't grow eyes. It didn't grow eyes. I'm just insane. I'm just insane. I'm sorry. This mod is making me insane. Okay, that's some bullshit. I thought the skeleton grew eyes. It didn't. It always had eyes. 
I thought the eyes popped into existence when the door completely opened. It was in like a... It was in like a spooky moment, but no, it didn't. I'm just stupid. Greetings, brother. <gasps> Wait, what? I want that. Whoa. Got that in the nick of time. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. Come on, guys. That was funny. <laughs> the Chinese water torture is working. Yes, I'm going crazy. I want to kill myself. I have to kill myself. It's the only way out of this fucking torture. <laughs> oh. I provide money, you provide the funny. This is the transaction. Yes. Well, I pr provide attempts at funny. No guarantee I will be funny. No returns. Um. Right, that was just that closing up. Um, it's a skull. And a jaw, and... I think I found the problem. Your penis isn't supposed to bend that far. Haha, -ha, zing. Wham, boom, bam. Fucking hilarious. I'm so funny. That was hilarious. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was so funny. Somebody clip that. Holy shit. Comedic genius. More skulls. And a vent. Neat, but firstly let's, you know, explore the skulls. Maybe there's like an evil man in one of the skulls. Something... Oh. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh, the zombies aren't gonna kill me. The automatic door is. That's brilliant. Thanks. That's great. Oh, so cool. So cool, so great. So fantastic. Oh, I love it. That was... Yep. That was my fault. That was my fault. Quite obviously, I should have realized that the door was going to close at that specific, specific point in time, even though it opened by itself, which indicates that it should just remain open forever. But uh, it decided to just close as I walked through it. It was a hilarious goof by the door. Practical joke by the door. Um, let's go through... Here. Don't know what that was. Damn, Mr. Funny Guy here. Yeah, I timed that. That was deliberate. That was a scripted stream moment. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, thank god. I can actually go through the vent. Well, that looks like concrete progress. Wait, hold on. Don't crush me. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you shitting on my balls? Don't shit on my balls. You're not supposed to do that. I'm not into that. God damn it. Committed to that shitting on my balls joke. Not sure I should have, but I did. People already think I have enough weird fetishes. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking... There's just things in this mod that just baffle me. That just, just baffle me. It's the little things, guys. It's not the massive flaws in logic and fucking giant leaps of... Uh, storytelling and level design. It's the little things. It's the little things that just make me go, wh how did, what, did nobody, why? Greetings, brother. Hey, Rastra, you've only been here a year. It feels like you've been here longer. Maybe you have been. Okay, we're down here now. Through the vent. This is progress, I think. If the word progress can even be applied to this mod. I feel like this might just be an infinite loop. My own personal half-life to hell that I cannot escape. Oh! Okay. Somebody turned up the gamma. Really turned up the gamma. Got that sick Instagram filter on now. That fire isn't even centered in the fucking barrel. Are you kidding me? 
Are you kidding me, guys? That's like... That's like two seconds. That's like two seconds of your life in the hammer editor. Did you just did you just place that barrel there and then never look at it ever again? Never again during development did you look at it. Not even during playtesting. You just came through here and just went, oh yeah, oh yeah, these textures look good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. that's great. Like, come on, guys. Come on. It's the little things. I thought it was going to say hazardous gas, but apparently there's radiation here? I don't know, man. I feel like I'm already pretty fucked up as is. Don't think a couple of tumors are going to stop me... ...going to make me any more crazy than I already am. Although the weird zombies appearing out of nowhere might. Um... What? Oh, there's a dead man down there. Definitely don't have low gravity, right? Jump? But where? I, what the fuck? Oh, those antlions. Right. Antlions look different in the distance. I think that's filled with water. Why did I- <laughs> why did something grow in it? What?! Okay, it's not filled with water. St strange? Strange. That was- I- I already knew that was gonna happen. Why did I react? Why did I get scared by that? Um, ooh! Ooh! Okay, figured it out. Figured it out, guys. Oh. Not? Does that one have water in it? That one has water in it. That one doesn't have water in it. This one does. Are you fucking kidding me? No, this is gonna kill me. I'm gonna hit the- No! Nope, nope, just went straight through those wooden planks that would have fucked me up. Why would you do this? God, yeah. At least put like a light on it or uh, something. At least put a light on it or something. God damn it. Yeah. But Hey, man. Spooky. <laughs> I stood on the spooky. Oh, this mod is a mod. Guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a controversial opinion here. I'm gonna have a hot take here. This mod, not particularly good. Not quite a ten out of ten. I know that's harsh. I know that's harsh. I know somebody spent a lot of time developing this. But it needs a bit of work. There's a couple of areas that could need some polishing up. I think you need a floor buffer just to polish that shit up. Six out of ten. Oh yeah, no, it's like a solid eight, you know, but it's not not quite a ten. Why is there the fucking potato from Half-Life 2 just in the corner? Nine out of ten at least. Oh, maybe, maybe. What? Oh, I hate antlion. Oh, antlion. Whoa! What the fuck? Whoa! What the fuck? Glad I looked up at that particular moment. Fade to black. What? What? Um. And now it's moving back back up. <gasps> Get your free TVs, guy! No! Cast my citizen. Oh, hey, dude. What the fuck was that? Just a really bad map load cover up? Possibly. Possibly. But hey, at least the frame rate's fucking smooth here. Oh! 
I'm in a real jumpy mood today. Hmm. Antlion? Dead antlion. Queen, king, nobody. Cast my citizen. Ah! Well. Hmm. I think he's dead. He's dead like all the other ones. He died just sitting around. For some reason. We have all the free TVs we want in heaven, dude. All the free TVs you want in heaven. Does this fire even hurt me? Is this fire even hurty fire? It's hurty fire. Okay. They're not completely inept. They do realize that fire should hurt you if you walk into it. Yeah, this mod is kind of something else. Alright. Yes, I would agree with that. I think that statement is mostly correct. I'm not losing that health. I might need that health later. Knowing this mod, there could be a random spike in difficulty that could require me to have all the resources I can possibly get. Whoop. What the f- Oh! Whoa! I didn't even know these were buttons. I was just pressing E on things. What did that do? I don't know what that did. This door is open now. I think that opened that door. Woo. Door. Oh, okay, not going back that way. What? Okay. <laughs> okay. You know what? That makes a lot more sense than most things that have happened in this mod, so that's that gets a okay from me. What if it's all just a big joke at the end? You know, like Outsiders? Outsiders, yeah. But, I mean, Outsiders was built by a dev that knows what the fuck he's doing. Now, not to imply that these developers don't know what they're doing. I'm just saying. So far, this mod sure as hell seems like it. Sure as hell seems like it. <laughs> um, right, now we're here. That was strange. You know what? Somebody needs to hire whoever made these maps, and I mean this, sincerely, somebody needs to hire whoever made all these maps and stapled them together to make a fucking game about a dream, because this is dream logic right here. If we wake up at the end, th this mod gets like, at least two letter grades up in my books, although we were rating on a system out of 10, so it gets like an A, a out of 10 now, or a B maybe, B out of 10. Because this is the sort of logic that happens in your mind, where you fall down a hole and suddenly you're in a completely different world and for some reason people are attacking you and you're not sure why and then you're told to escape, but you're not sure why you're escaping and you're not quite sure what's going on. It, it, it fits, right? Oh, uh, yep, and now people are attacking me. Why? We will never know. How did we get here? I don't know, but it happens. Pants on the ground. Okay, what? <laughs> what the fuck? Why were you in a room with the door closed, just sort of standing around? Were you having a nap? Also, wow, that blood's trippy. You just having a nap in here? Tasty... Tons. Why do I feel like this mod has just ripped a bunch of shit from a bunch of different places? Like, these these leaves are from Portal, right? They're, they're from Portal 2. Oh. Hey dude, you were just standing in there. What, what the fuck is... This is so weird! That's the sort of shit you see in a shitpost mod. That's the sort of shit you see in a mod that just chucked enemies into a room because, well, we, we want him to shoot some people at this point. And we're gonna make a funny joke after he finishes clearing out these rooms. Like, it's... This is bordering on shitpost. You're telling me this isn't a shitpost mod? I don't know whether it is! I think somebody sincerely made this. 
and posted it on Steam and was proud of it. Which is... Whoop. So strange. So strange. Look at this room! Why did you add this room? What is the point of this room? What do you... What did... What is this develop... I want to know what was going through his head. He must be like 16, right? He must have been like 16. And be like, I made mod. My mod good. Me post mod now. That is the only answer to why this mod is such a fucking mess. Hunt down the Freeman map design? Still, hunt down the Freeman. Fucking leagues better than this shit. I'm sorry, it is. That's just a fact. He's, he's just running away there, I guess. What the fuck? Somebody in chat just said Lee Gasp, and now I, I feel weird. <laughs> this is great. This is great. What am I saying? This is fantastic. This is my favorite mod. 2021. This feels like this should have been made in like 2002, 2000, not 2002, like 2000, whoop, prop flew. This feels like it should have been made in like 2010 by like a teenager learning the hammer editor. But this was made in 2017 and posted on Steam. <laughs> now that I think about it, that's kind of hilarious. That's kind of hilarious. Oh, <laughs> this is fucking hilarious. By a whole team. Oh, don't tell me there was more than one person developing this. Don't tell me there was like a team of dudes working on this. Don't tell me more than one person was working on this and was like, yeah, this is good. We should post this on Steam. Sup, Jolly. Can't wait to probably negotiate with your cameo in Stalker 2. Hopefully the cameo is just as bold and bright as you are when it comes to executing plans. I'd love to have a cameo in Stalker 2. Hopefully the cameo? Hopefully the cameo. Can't wait to probably negotiate with your cameo in Stalker 2. I wish I had a cameo in Stalker 2. Did somebody... what? Are you implying the dude in the trailer looks like me? The pop-ups aren't showing up. Oh, whoopsies. Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Greetings, brother. Now they are. Fuck. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Greetings, you could hear them. Brother. Sorry, sorry, I pressed the wrong button. Greetings, brother. Well, yeah, someone said on Discord, what? One hundred percent implying the dude looks like you. He can't it, it doesn't yeah, he does kinda of look like me. A bit, I guess. Bit too Eastern European. Eastern European me. I will play Stalker 2. I think it's going to be shit though. Okay, I turned off these. Wait! Wait! What? The steam was coming out of steel rebar! Wait! Those aren't even pipes! Wait, no, 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 no! Hold on! Was the steam coming out of fucking steel? Oh no, it was coming out of... What was it coming out of? It's coming out of the pipe. It's coming out of the pipe. I thought it was coming out of the magical fucking girders. He's just coming out of nondescript holes in the pipe. A bit too Eastern European. Yeah, I'm Southern European. I'm from Hungary. Well, my my dad's grandfather's from Hungary. Um, I'm part Danish, part Hungarian. Really, part English, but. Little bit of Hungarian, little bit of English. 
little bit of Danish. Hungry? No thanks, I just ate. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, man. Thank you, chat, for, some, for, for filling me with confidence that even my shittiest jokes sometimes aren't as bad as the jokes you guys make. Fucked up that burn, but whatever. Okay, we're back here and you did a sick jump. Nice jump. Cool jump, dude. Yeah, yeah, you scream. Yeah, you scream. He scream. Oh. Don't get burnt by the poisonous gas that's there for some reason. Little skull. Why does the skull have eyes? Why does the skull have eyes? There is no reason for the skull to have eyes, and yet it has eyes. Skulls don't have eyes. The eyes would have rotted as well as everything else. Oh. Hello. You gonna attack me? Yep. Nope. Oh, he's just walking away. Okay. Undertale would like to disagree. Fuck you. Fuck you, Sam's Undertale. Hey dude, what's up? I'm just gonna... Boop. Alright, I'ma head out. Nice. Have a nice night, whoever you are. What? Where the fuck did you come from? Half-Life 2 really is just, you know, top-tier gameplay. It's somehow less engaging than What the fuck? I just killed you! No, I didn't. You look like the person I killed. It's somehow less engaging than Half-Life 1, because at least in Half-Life 1 you can't just swing wildly. You have to plan out each swing. Half-Life 2 is literally just hold down the button and move backwards and forwards. Is that cum blood? Yes, yes it is cum blood, dude in chat. Hope you're happy. It's cum blood. Very funny. Um. <laughs> Looks like a little man in like a teepee. Ready to get spooked, guys? Three, two, one. Loading screen. Whoop! And a change in lighting. And an invisible wall and an invisible wall. Hell yeah, invisible walls. <laughs> Gotta love them invisible walls. And I was wrong, by the way. No jump scare. Just the level transition. Truly horrifying. Truly horrifying. How the fuck do you not get mad playing Half-Life mods with gameplay you hate? Because the rest of this shit's fucking hilarious, dude. Have you seen what's been going on? Fun fact, most Half-Life 2 mods are just a vehicle for me to talk shit. <laughs> I don't have to think about the gameplay, then I can just talk shit. And entertain. At the end of the day, you're not here to watch engaging gameplay of Half-Life 2, you're here to watch the story, and the gameplay is just something that you have to put up with. You're not watching this for the fucking epic gameplay. You're watching this because it's a fucking mess, and so you don't have to play it. You can sit there doing your work or, you know, playing a, a multiplayer game, grinding in Final Fantasy XIV or some shit, while I play through this shit and occasionally look over and go, wow, that's fucking trash. Laugh and then get back on with your grinding. <laughs> if I don't play these, who will? Um, by the way, I love this door. <laughs> I love this door. Just sort of there. Just the wooden door. Leads to nowhere. Quality Eastern European design right here. Fun fact, if you just set your game in fucking Eastern Europe, you can get away with some fucking heinous shit. Because in Eastern Europe, Sometimes, designers and architects just sort of give up and do stupid shit. They weren't told that the fucking door needed an entrance. They were just told they needed to put a door there, so they put a door there. 
And they'll be damned if they bother putting steps up to it or like, you know, talking with the owners to figure out exactly how that door's gonna work. Soviet architecture is real bad. I don't think it's just Soviet architecture. I think it's... It's an Eastern European problem. What the fuck am I doing in here? What am I doing in here? What is the point of this room? What is your purpose, room? Other than to confuse me. Do I, do I not go this way? Uh, okay. The sparking... The sparking button means that it works. Not that it doesn't work. Oh. That opened. Jimin! I mean, G-Man! Sorry! <laughs> Not G-Man. G-Man. still say G-Man from, from fucking... Save the monk. G-Man. G-Man. How you doing, buddy? Whoop. He gone. Do a sneaky disappear. And we load the next level. <laughs> we got incredibly close to G-Man without him disappearing. Like, way too close. Oh, and now level transition and invisible wall, as always. Always love the invisible walls and the combine and the sand. Okay. Really wish I hadn't chose to put down all my weapons at that one point for no particular reason other than I'm going to stealth here. Whoop, whoa. Whoop, whoa, what? Whoop, whoa, what? Wh what? What? Air fire! I mean, it it's throwing fire. Sorry, didn't Greetings, word good brother. there. Um, what? Oh my god, well, I figured out what I had to do real fucking quick. I'm dead. Why didn't he have a loving fuck? Yeah! Yeah! Oh, I'm dead. Why do I sound like an anime girl? Yeah! Guess who? I don't know Japanese words and lasers and what? What? Oh, it's an, it's a it's a fucking boss arena. Ah, uh, okay, okay. It's fucking what the fuck am I supposed to do? Oh god! Oh, okay. Just jump, jump around. Uh, these. Yes, okay. Fucking called it. Knew it. Knew it. Fucking knew it. Of course it's these. Glad I figured that out quickly. Didn't spend like a half an hour running around looking for what the fuck I had to do. He's gonna fire me and then I'm gonna be dead. Because I will not have money to live. Because he's my boss and he's gonna fire me. Ha ha ha. Oh shit. What the fuck? Oh no, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm de dead. Dead. This is not a boss fight! This is just an insta gear button! I think I'll stay here and die. Now. I love how they target me, not the giant floating terminator head that just killed them all. I love how they explode, so you can't just fucking melee them either. You're not allowed to melee them. It's not an option. What the fuck are you doing? What is this? Blow all of them up. Does that mean I can hurt him now? Can I hurt him now? Is that an option? Are they all gone? Does that mean I can shoot him? What the fuck do I do? Okay, this is really fucking stupid.
I lost all my health there. I lost all my fucking health. I love when you walk into the arena, you have to lose health. There's no way around losing. This is fucking so dumb. The game fucking crashes here, I swear to god. Is that- It's not dead! What are you made of?! Just explode, dude! Holy shit! Holy shit! Okay, don't shoot it with the SMG. The SMG does no damage, apparently. Fucking love this fight. Yo, are, are you at mod dev? You you planning on making a mod? Just look at everything this mod does. Write it down on a big list called "Do not do this." Just, I sorry. I'm trying to word a sentence while also being quite mad. Let me, let me try that sentence again when I'm not fucking pissed off that I'm stuck in a corner next to a fucking Terminator head that I seemingly cannot beat because it insta-kills hey, me. Hey I am here to say hello and check in on what you are up to. Hey Troll! I am also sending this to obviously distract you and annoy you during this terrible fight. Don't worry Troll, today is one of those days where you can donate as much as you want because this shit's a fucking mess. Can't make this stream any more messy than it already is. Okay, okay, they're all dead. What do I do here? What do I do now? Do I shoot it? Do I run? I get insta-killed. I get insta-killed by the fire. That's not a boss mechanic, my dude. What do I do? There's gotta be... There's got to be something, right? Like, do I just shoot you? Do I just shoot you a lot now? I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. He's going to fire. He's going to fire. He's going to fire and I'm going to die. Can I just... I need to leave, but I can't leave. But I want to leave and I can't leave. So what do I do? Do I just shoot you? There's no way I just shoot him, right? This this is not the answer to my problems. What the fucking shit? Um What? You have a nuke tube. What? Oh, I do have a Okay, 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 just don't get fired. Don't get fired. Do your best at work, kids. Don't get fired. Um, right, let's let's try this. Let's see if this does anything to him. What the fuck was that? That my alt fire is just throwing a nade. Okay, that's one good thing. You know what? This mod has has done one thing right, and that's my alt fire. That's okay, that makes a lot more sense than magically having another slung grenade launcher. How do I... There's got to be a win button. There's got to be, like, a thing that I can destroy or something. There's not... What the fuck do I do? What do I do? Where do I go? How do I win? Also, by the way, these lasers make no fucking sense. They make no sense. There's no logic to any of this. There's got to be something. Okay, can anybody help me? There's, there's got to be a... There's got to be like a... There's got... Oh, that sounded like damage. Did I hit it? I hit it. 
Oh! Oh! Okay, well, at least we know we can kill it. You suck, Jolly. Thank you. This fire that I literally cannot get away from is totally my fault. Okay, hit him. Okay, just get away. Just get away. Just die. Just... It died! Yes! Okay, just had to shoot it a lot. Not sure what these tubes were, not sure why I shot those. I don't know what's happening, but I win. I win. I win. Now let's leave, and let's go deal with these guys. They've just been shooting us through the magic lasers for the last... five minutes. Just had to shoot it a ton. Fucking Christ, man. Fucking Christ, man. What were the tubes then? Set dressing? They might have been protecting him. They might have been stopping him from firing. Uh, stopping, uh, stopping me from killing him. Alternatively, I may have had to destroy them while he was near them to do extra damage to him or something. I don't know. Alright, let's go deal with these guys. CF? Isn't that, isn't that an element? Um, oh, hey guys. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... Hi guys. Hi. Goodbye. Oh, I'm glad this shotgun's really good. Oh, I do. Means the gameplay is far less infuriating. You sexlent my expectations. Now I love you. <laughs> what? Oh, you sexeded my expectations. Now I love you. Okay, I like you as a friend. Oh, God. This stream is good because it proves that my my tiredness behind my eyes doesn't actually mean that I'm going to have a shit stream. So I was really scared that that tiredness behind my eyes would mean I just fucking faded like two hours into stream. But we're already three hours in and I'm not really struggling yet. So that's good. I know that for future now. Despite me waking up feeling tired behind my eyes and struggling to, uh, you know, get up and get going, I can still do it. Oh! <gasps> Oh, that was cool. Wait, can I reload that? <laughs> Why am I doing this? Like, I'm going to be playing this mod soon. Okay. Oh, look, he's got the gravity gun, and he's pulling it towards the... the thing. That was such a camp reaction. Because <laughs> I reloaded, and I was like, I need to do something for the video, but I don't need to do something for the video. I'm not making a video of this. And even if I was making a video of this, it wouldn't fucking matter, because nobody would give a shit. This isn't some, like, well-worded RP Let's Play of this mod. This isn't some, some well-edited shit. This is like, I don't know. Shit's been happening. That was cool though, right? That's a cool idea! Having the gravity gun pull that closer while he's fucking dead on the floor. But whatever. <laughs> but the funny part is, I can't even actually move this with the gravity gun. So, it doesn't really even make sense. This is a second channel video? No, everything, everything half decent goes on the first channel now. Should have posted that DreadX thing to the, to the first channel as well. That reactor video is doing so much better than I expected it to. This mod is the definition of cool ideas, but no means to execute them. I disagree. I don't think there's been one cool idea in this mod, dude. This is like generic Half-Life 2 mod executed so poorly. 
there are some mods out there that have great ideas, great, like, just, like, if they could execute properly, it would be great, but they can't, and I've, I've played some of those mods, but this is not even that, this is just a bit shit. Outsiders and the weeb video, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hindsight's twenty twenty. Hey guys. Oh. <laughs> hey, what's going on? I oh, gravity gun. Oh, I'm dead. I'm hurt. Are you not including my Don't simp worry, photo shot in the final your cut? Your old pal Trollvik would give a shit. I mean, I would be laughing my head off at your slow descent into madness and overall insanity. But you know, I'd still give a shit. Yeah, you troll, you would, you'd be that person that while I'm on the street screaming about how Half-Life mods have ruined my life, you'd just be there handing me $10 bills going, yeah, Jolly, yeah, you tell them. You tell them that you fucking lost your sanity because of Half-Life mods. Here you go, here's another $10. Have another $10. Get yourself something nice. Your poop bucket need emptying? Don't worry, Jolly. I'll pay for somebody to come do that. Uh, thank you, Troll. Rosenberg was a golden stream. I dislike how mean I was in Rosenberg, and also there are some times where it's quite clearly my fault that shit went wrong, yet I blamed it on the game. Um, I don't do that as much anymore. Got nothing to say. Got nothing to say there. Nothing to say at all. <laughs> no comment. No comment. Okay. Greetings, I brother. I guess. Hey, dude. I do. Oh, there we go. What a shitty hitbox. These were never meant to be like. Fought around in Trying close combat. On it. Okay, we're going this way now. Uh, ready for the load screen in three, two, one. Bam! Load screen, invisible wall behind me, new level, completely different from what we just saw. <laughs> Loads in front of us. Ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mod, you're hilarious, yet predictable. Hilarious, yet predictable. <laughs> what? No! No! What? Okay, we didn't predict that. Oh, thank God. I couldn't couldn't go forwards for a second there. <laughs> oh. Just skipped a trip down the tunnel, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. But it's been doing that more than... Uh, occasionally, you'll just have the room behind you change its layout while you walk through a door. Okay, let's go down the left, I think. Yeah, let's go down the left. What is this? It's a Half-Life mod. And not a particularly good one. Jolly, there's someone standing where just where you were. What? Really? Don't make me reload this level for no fucking reason, my dude. Oh, there isn't. Oh yeah, there is. Hello, dude. Who are you? You're just a regular Half-Life NPC. <laughs> you were just somebody from City 17. It wasn't G-Man. It was just a dude from City 17. It was the bold model from... City 17. Okay. <laughs> G-Man's not interested in me. G-Man has bigger fish to fry, but that generic citizen from City 17, he's got his eye on me. He's seen G-Man, he's like, I want to do that. I want to I wanna, I wanna get some Hitman. This guy looks good. Is, is he a good hit? I don't know, but I, I, I think I want to hire him. He's just copying down G-Man's notes. <laughs> He 
He's not quite got this whole contract killer thing worked out yet, but he's, he's got the ominous presence all figured out. Except he doesn't know to disappear when you get too close to him. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> G Man Secondary. <laughs> Better run, for it's me, Ordinary City 17 man, yes. Oh. oh, hey guys, what's up? I love how you guys fucked yourselves up. You both lunged for me at the same time, so neither of you hit me. Good job. Teamwork. Oh my god, look how many of these guys there are. And people were bitching about me not using my ammo before. This is the reason I don't use my ammo, because of situations like this. Where you need every shot you have on hand. Although I really didn't. But look, but I, I could have. Well, it was a bad shot. I mean, the UI is nice. The UI is nice. Let's try and think up some good things for this mod. This room is nothing. This isn't a room. This is just a waste of space. Let's try and let's try and talk about the good things this mod has going for it. I like the the submachine gun alt fire, which is just you throwing a grenade. That's cool. That's cool. The UI is nice. Crosshair is a bit low res, but it's, you know, it's not bad. Um, levels have nice atmosphere. Some of them. Would work better as a uh, train you weren't actually traversing through. But, you know. I'm sure the model learned a lot from this. I'm sure the model learned a lot. God, I hope he learned a lot from this. God, I hope he took notes on what not to do. In future mods. Because if he didn't, God help us all. He'll reappear someday with another one of these <laughs> shit-tastic mods. If I remember correctly, people were getting viruses on their computers and downloading Hunt Down the Freeman a while back. I thought you were about to say this mod and I was about to fucking chuck a fit. But this is on Steam and you shouldn't get a virus from something uploaded to Steam. And if you do, Steam should reimburse you massive amounts of money because you downloaded it on their fucking platform. What the fuck was this staircase for? Oh, you, you went up here. And you, you went out... here? What was this staircase for? Oh, you go back out there. Wait, what? Wait, what? What? Can I like... Oh, wait. Couldn't have just made it so I could climb up that. Couldn't have put a light there or something. Oh. Was that really the whole level? Was that really the whole level? Were there things over there I could have seen or something? Was that... Okay, we blitzed through that one. That was a lot of work. Not a lot of stuff in the map. Um... Okay. Whoop. What? Hold on. How did we end up here? Huh? Huh? Okay, we're in like the underground, I guess. Oh, and now there are enemies to kill. There are a lot of enemies. There are... You know what? Come on, guys. Yep. That didn't kill any of them. That didn't kill any of them. I don't know what the hell that grenade did, but it didn't do a lot. Whoop. Okay, text is glitching out. Get the bowl thing and... I'm dead. Yeah, okay. Well, we know that for future now. We're <laughs> using some fucking Willy Wonka elevators in this game. <laughs> That explains it away. That works. <laughs> uh, 
I'm not sure if this is great or terrible content. I'm really not sure, guys. I've never been more unsure of a stream in my fucking life. This isn't on me. If this is a bad stream to watch, this isn't on fucking me, all right? I feel good. I feel like I could do a good job here. It's just this game's a bit fucking strange. I'm not sure what direction to take the commentary in. There isn't much of a main character to latch onto. There isn't much of a story. It's just sort of a random collection of fucking rooms with some really questionable design choices. <laughs> oh, hey, dude. Just sort of stand there. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, oh you noticed the ball. The ball tipped him off. Oh my god, how many snipers are there? Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> That's like a whole building filled with compact snipers. There are like 12 of them! What the fuck? What the fuck? Holy shit! <laughs> Mate, you could have just put two of them! I would have had as much trouble with, like, two of them, my dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. And dude, don't shoot me. I've got enough troubles with these fucking snipers. And wow, I just took him out with a shotgun. <laughs> Typical Team Fortress 2 map. Nah, man. This is Battlefield 4 in a nutshell right here. Oh, I'm playing Shanghai. I'm playing Shanghai. I'm walking down the street. Oh my god! <laughs> what? How many snipers are on top of that building? I don't know, but there are a lot of them. <laughs> Shotgun is a god weapon. Yeah, apparently this shit... This is, once again, another fucking Battlefield 4 comparison. Got my, my fucking slugs. Oh god. God! Oh god! There are snipers over here as well! Ah! Whoa! Oh, fucking god damn it. <laughs> well, that has to be the funniest thing to happen in this whole mod. Why not more shit like this? If you're gonna make a shit mod, why not make it hilarious? Why not do stupid shit like this? This mod wasn't designed to be good with logical You're design. Fine, Jolly. The map's just an example of what you the source this, engine can do with no graphics. But no seriously a sub to the person who figures out how many times he gets fucked by these snipers. I'm, I'm not gonna get fucked by these snipers, it's fine. They're... Ow, fucking shit. Dude, why would this be uploaded in 2017 then? Why would you upload this in 2017? Why would you upload this in 2017? In 2017, it's pretty well documented what you can do with the Source Engine at that point. It's pretty well documented. This isn't exactly the height of Source modding right here. And thank you, Troll, for the $10. Yeah, just an example of what you can do with the graphics. You mean chug like crazy while looking mediocre. Exactly. Like, this this isn't exactly the height of quality right here. I mean, the lighting though. Even the lighting's not great. There's that great fucking mod in that um, Map Labs pack that's just like top tier lighting. And that runs better than this does. That runs at like a solid 60. I'm- there's no- I'm gonna have to climb up there, aren't I? Am I gonna have to climb one of these? Do I have to- Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Tully, how you been, bruh? Well, before I played this mod, I was doing pretty good. But now that I am playing this mod, I am considerably worse. Yeah, I'm thinking that wasn't the right way to go. How else would I get in here? What are you doing, buddy? You just wagging your little tail? 
Making friends with the head crab zombie? Yeah, I killed your friend, buddy. Oh my god. How else would you t expect me to get in here? I don't know, you sound the same. I sound the same, but internally I am dead. I am a streamer, I can put on one hell of a face. Now, right to the face. Six. How else would you expect me to get in this building, my dude? Like, how else? Also, sorry, I didn't mean to shit all over you, uh, Viv. I, I understand that that may have been what was the description on the on the source page for this mod, for the, the, the Steam page for this mod. But that really doesn't excuse it, in my opinion. That may have been the only way to get there, actually. I'm pretty sure that was the only way to get there. Now... Unless you have a, another solution to that problem, I think that may have been the only way to get there. Fecking, stop saying the bad, stop, stop saying the same bad joke over and over. Just trying to get it on stream. I'm not reading that out because it's shit. Well, I am reading it out now because you kept spamming it. Fast deep. I fucked up the reading of it. So even more reason this is not going anywhere. But fast detect, more like fast defect. Am I right, Jollyo? Yes, yes, you're very right. Good job. That was really worth copy-pasting like four times to get me to read it, huh? Also, this dude's just sort of chilling. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Not even gonna try, huh? Suicidal headcrab zombie. Please, just put me out of my misery. See, the you all those snipers and I choose you. Um, how would I... I can't shoot that from here. Also, try not to dwell on it. Go fix that problem. Project Borealis is never coming out because Half Life Alex just fucking shat all over them. Just pretty much went, hey, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, it turns out we are making a Half Life game. Go eat a dick. Can I, like, blow up these? What the fuck am I supposed to do? Why is this here? What is this for? Is there something I'm missing? I guess I go take this back out there and shoot Greetings, those guys? Brother. But... My tummy's a rumbling. Why is my tummy a rumbling? Oh, I did have work yesterday. That would explain. Try rocket jumping. Somehow I feel like that isn't... That isn't what I'm supposed to... <gasps> no, that's, that's where the podium was for this. Alright, so now I have to... Uh, I don't fucking know. Project- no, Project Borealis was supposed to be like the final chapter of Half-Life because Valve was never gonna make another Half-Life game. Then Valve made another Half-Life game. I imagine a lot of the steam on that project was instantly lost the moment Valve was like, Oh yeah, here's, here's Half-Life Alex." This really lacks clear direction, Hart. <laughs> I think that's another understatement by chat. So just, I fucking love random pipes blocking me. Half-Life 2 Chapter 3 Jolly. Yeah, which is gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Valve's gonna make another Half-Life game. Hell, according to Tyler from Valve News Network, they actually made one and just ditched it because they wanted to make fucking Alex instead. So it's very likely they're making another Half-Life game. And that would also explain why fucking Mark got really fucking pissed and released Episodal 3 because Valve went lol nah at the last fucking seconds. Listening to Valve News Network, why? Because he actually talks to a lot of industry in insiders. Despite his bullshit, he does actually list, talk to a lot of industry insiders and seem to have some connections. 
was lost on release because Alex made episode 3 possible as intended. Yep. That would make sense. So I haven't played Alex. I need to play Alex. So I have to go over there and kill them now, I guess? I guess what I want to do is I want to go over there and kill them. But there's no... I, there should be like a window that I can shoot from, like those ones up there that I don't think I can get to. Can I get? I can maybe, maybe I could have got up the next level. Maybe I could have got up to the next level. Stair away up to the top. It's got to be a way up to the top, right? That's got to be the solution. And I can shoot down. Is there something I'm supposed? Oh, wait. Idea. What? Wait, what? 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 Up to the top level. Is there a window on the very, very top floor? Is there a way to get to the very, very? No, that's this is the very top. There's no way. There's nothing. There's nothing. I'm just wasting my time. You know what's better than having clear direction in your mods? Having no fucking direction at all for shits and gigs. Sometimes I dream about Jolly in a banana suit, on fire, singing the Pokemon theme song while slowly unpeeling himself. Wow. I never get to see him fully unravel before it all ends, but I imagine that there is truly beauty to behold beneath it all. Freud would have a fucking field day with you, troll. Freud would have a field day with you. There's a lot to unpack there, dude. There's a lot to unpack. Th what the fuck am I supposed to even do against these guys? I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run. And they can't hit me anymore. So apparently that's what I was supposed to do. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh god, don't. You need to die. What? What? Excuse me, what? Excuse me, what? Okay. Okay. We're here now. We're on the spaceship again. Back to the spaceship. We spaceship did it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Back here now. Okay. Think that means we won, guys. Think that means we won. And the Russian guy's talking to us again. The ending better explain this shit. <laughs> I'm sorry to inform you, there is fucking 0% chance any of this is explained. There is a negative percent chance that any of this has any sort of explanation. In fact, I'm sure it will get more confusing before the end. I'm sure it will get more confusing before the end. I can guarantee it. There you go, hospital. And I'm getting back to my, I wonder if this mod plays completely different if you never got the dev room theory. If, if it's that easy to find the fucking room, then... Then it, it must be what you're supposed to do. It must be what you're supposed to do. Hospital is just drugs. Laugh my ass off. Yes. I'm pretty sure this wasn't made by English speakers. Oh, what? Oh, oh, now we're back. It's the next level. Teleported in. Oh, and there are guys immediately. Just like every good ship post mod. But they just drop you in a room with guys. This reminds me of Mystery Combat Man. <laughs> I think the mod that is that is the closest experience to this mod right here 
that I have played is fucking Mystery Combat Man. Can you fucking believe it? That oh, <laughs> it is that bad, guys. Oh, Mystery Combat Man didn't know how close they were to getting on a fuck on getting a fucking Steam store page. That they did. Can I try the sentence again? Mystery Combat Man didn't know how close they were to getting their own fucking Steam store page. Oh, okay. Hey, what the fuck? Fuck off, I just lost all my health. What the fuck? Where did all my health go? Why did I spawn in with not full health? I picked up all the health I had. Oh, fuck off. Really? Go jolly. Be my flaming banana man. Keep running as you slowly unravel yourself. Become one with the eternity of Half-Life as G-Man slowly descends from the heavens and delivers you a warm kiss Don't on your I don't even like Half-Life. Remember Jolly, remember what you truly are. You lost some back in the dev room thing for some reason. I guess? I don't know. Did I get him? I got him. Mm, dandy. Oh yeah, I forgot this shotgun has a bajillion million range. And his hit scan, so you just point in their general direction and click. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, I love auto switch, and I love it. I love it so much. How did that not hit him? I don't even like Half Life. I feel cheated. No, okay, Half Life 2. I like Half Life 1. Half Life 2 just. Eh. Half Life 1's great. Half Life 1 System Shock 2. Two of the greatest games ever made. Still to this day. Goodbye. Why is he holding that gun so close to his face? He just really likes it. He, he thinks it looks pretty. Likes it. Likes to look at it when it shines in the light. On it. Oh. I... Uh, apparently, I'm not supposed to stand there. Apparently, that's not a good place to stand. Apparently, that's a bad place to stand. <laughs> okay, let me just trigger this cutscene and then walk in the opposite direction. Nice, cool, look at that. Destructible environment. There we go. And that did something. Made a hole in the ground. And now I can walk over here and press this button. Wow, that was really necessary, wasn't it? There is no story here. There is no... There's no way that this is... I don't even know, guys. Okay. Whoop! Whoop! What? We... Whoop! We were facing the wrong way there. We can't go back that way. Of course not. Okay, what's the new level? Oh, this one actually looks quite nice! Look at you guys! Building a level that doesn't look like complete garbage. Good on you! And the frame rate's solid. Good job, guys. Good job. You get a gold star for this level. You get... Shit. You get the scratch and sniff sticker of your choice. You get the one that smells like bananas. Well, there goes most of my health, because I'm an idiot, making jokes. No big surprise. How many more are there? I don't know, but probably too many. Have you ever considered this might just be a map pack? This is not a map pack, guys. This got an official release on Steam. It's not a map pack. It's a mod called Fast Detect. Okay, somebody was just deep throating their microphone there. Up, dude.
Kelly plays two tech demos on stream. <laughs> yes, one considerably better than the other one. I fucked that up. What? Oh, I was in the wrong fucking little guy. This map pack is semi-coherently strung together. Yet again, you guys are way too kind on this one. <laughs> this is not semi is semi 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 ah. Semi-coherent. Neither am I. I'm not coherent either. This is not semi-coherent. This is fucking all over the shot. This is the fucking level transition between, uh, the... Ah, shit, forgot what it's called. Those levels in Dark Souls where you, you descend a you you ascend a fucking lift to the top of, like, a, a pillar thing and then a magically turn into a lava hellscape. That was a bad analogy because I couldn't remember either of the places that you go to, but do you know what I'm talking about if you've played Dark Souls 2? Mm, yes, my ability to talk has been severely hampered by my struggle to comprehend what is actually happening on screen. Make Iron Keep sound way less intimidating. It's the fucking Mario lava level. It's like harvest something to the Iron Keep. Dark Souls 2 shit game. No, Dark Souls 2 isn't a shit game. It's just not quite as good as the other ones in the series. Wow, that's actually okay. That's a cool little way to get through there. Oh, shit. Hey, guys, come down here. Come down here. Yep, there we go. Good job. Don't get, don't get greedy. There are plenty of headcrabs to go around. Oh, Derpy. Uh, hold hold off on that, because I've got I've got a good video coming to the main channel. Although you can watch actually you can watch the second channel one and then watch the main channel one. I've got um got a super cut of those of those first two Dark Souls streams coming to the main channel. Um which is much shorter and much punchier, although the second channel one is pretty fucking great. It's pretty fucking great. Um, new video. I got I got like seven in the next two weeks, and then and then I got Dark Souls. Rose, all FromSoft games go through that sort of development hell. Like Dark Souls Three has like ten different things that were cut at the last fucking second. What the fuck? Can I get through here? No. Wait. Jelly, your hair is a mess. Yes, it usually is. Oh, fuck off, dude. Including Armored Core? I don't know about old stuff, but all I know is that every single Dark Souls game and Demon Souls had just the messiest fucking development cycle. FromSoft just, like, chucks shit out at the last second. Don't criticize DS2's world design. It's nonsensical as a design. Not really. It's kind of nonsensical as a design, but also kind of not. There's there's a bunch of shit that was... Read up on the development. There's a bunch of shit that was like, yeah, we just sort of stapled these two things together for no particular reason. I'm gonna be real, there's a lot of stuff in media where people are like, Oh, you know, these people thought this out, and this was all planned out, and this was all... Uh, thought out, and like, put together perfectly, and oh, here's an easter egg that happens later on. A lot of the times that shit's just fucking accidental. A lot of times people don't plan shit out. The more I've talked to people in the industry, the more they're just like, Yeah, this shit, we just sort of stapled it together at the last second and made up a reason for it being like this. And the people are like, wow, that's just, that's just fantastic. That's just so good. Oh man, that was really thought out. I was like, no, nah, we just sort of stapled it together at the last second. People in general nowadays seem to be doing what English teachers taught us to do. Which I guess shows that English teachers are good teachers. But it's like, the, the curtains were blue. Oh, they were blue because of his melancholy and he was depressed. And, you know, it was, it was a depressing week for him. And the blue represents his depression. 
And then you see what the author actually thought of when when he when he wrote it. It's like the, the curtains were blue, because they were blue. I needed a colour for the curtains, so they were blue. I, I've seen it more than anything else. I've seen it with fucking Avatar The Last Airbender. That is the one that was the worst. That subreddit got so bad that I had to fucking hide it. From my fucking stupid Reddit front page. I just had everything going. I just have R O. Oh, not even the fucking office subreddit. Which is a fucking cesspool of shitty memes. Is as bad as the fucking Avatar The Last Airbender subreddit. Oh, this cool little neat thing where her hair was the same way at the start as it was here, which means that she progressed and she went back to her younger self again at this point. No, they probably just had her fucking hair done like that because they remembered that they put their hair like that at some point and they decided to do it again. It's like some of the ass pulls that people have done and then they get like 15 million up dudes is just fucking pathetic. Like, yes, sometimes that shit is planned out, but not every single fucking detail is planned out, guys. Unless you're talking about, like, an Edgar Wright or a Tarantino film, for fuck's sake. What the fuck? Why was somebody just walking up a ladder? Did you guys hear that? Was it- am I just going crazy? Is this mod just- Gaslighting me. Am I just going insane? I could have sworn I just saw somebody like heard somebody walk upstairs or something. I did. Okay, I'm not going crazy. Oh, a tank. Hmm, I like this sort of aimless level design where you're just sort of walking around. This is where I came from. Not quite sure where to go, not directed in any particular way. You just sort of like, you know, just walk around. Have fun. You'll figure it out. What the fuck am I doing? No. Go back and look at that pipeline. I did. Like, movies I give more credit to because movies are like two hours where somebody has invested hundreds of hours, not hundreds, thousands of hours into making like a two hour long production. But a TV show, you have so much less time to focus on every single detail. I can't remember who it was. I was watching something recently where somebody talked about how most TV shows have, have the same amount of production budget and time as movies do, so you're just fucking hammered. It is just go, 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 go. There is no time for most TV shows to, to spend that amount of detail and time just figuring out every single little thing. Somebody brought up the Star Wars sequel prequels and it has nothing to do- This mod is so bad, it's just making me go off about on random tangents. You know a mod's bad when I stop talking about the mod. Jesus Christ, why does this section of the map even exist? Why does this section of the map exist? The answer is, no fucking reason in particular. It just sort of does. I guess I have to get into that over there. Somehow. I, I came through that dresser in the floor. That's how I got here. Like, this is where... This is where I came from. I have no idea what the fuck is going on. I already pulled this, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, this is where I came from. Just because a map looks pretty, and I complimented it on looking kind of pretty, doesn't mean it's a good map. This section out here? This looks quite nice. For a source mod, this looks quite nice. This is a quite nice out of 10. Didn't say the level design 
necessarily translated to the gameplay. I thought for sure I'd be able to like blast that out of the way and then there'd be like a entrance in there. But I think that's just a whole more. Wow, you stream this is amazing. <laughs> oh right, me streaming is amazing. Like I, I thought you were complimenting the mod for a second there. I was like, are you the developer? Wow, this is mod good, very you enjoy, you no? Know? No! Fucking way! No fucking way! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There was a hole in the wall! There was just a random hole in the wall that I walked through! Fucking glad I found out where I had to go there! What were those footsteps? I don't know! What was the pipe? Nothing! What were the fancy rooms? Nothing at all! Just go to the door! It's a random hole way off the path in the corner. That's where I had to go. Yes. That's where I had to go. Of course. Makes perfect sense. As does this fucking level transition down the 70 kilometer long fucking tunnel that leads us out into this bright blue sky because apparently it has been so long that it is now daytime into this actually very good looking vista although the draw distance is a bit low so we really can't tell whether it actually looks good or whether it's all just a PNG in the background Did you pay for this? No, <laughs> no, I did not. Hey, they got the bin fire right here. Good job. Didn't put the fire outside of the bin again. Why is there crap on your vision? Because uh, lens, you've got a lens on, make it all gritty and stuff. <laughs> I should've just played fucking Fallout New Vegas. I should've just played Fallout New Vegas. Fuck this shit. This shit fucking blows. <laughs> Oh, it's pretty though. This is pretty. This is very pretty. I'm gonna go down that hallway before we go over here. What is down out over here? An RPG. And a bunch of these guys just sort of standing around. They haven't noticed me yet. Don't go down there. That is imminent death. Grab this though. Oh, apparently I have an RPG with full ammo. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, Fallout New Vegas maybe tomorrow. I I might, might want to play Alex tomorrow. I don't know. I feel I I thought for sure I was gonna like pass out halfway through this stream, but I haven't. So I guess it's just my eyes need to be cleaned. Just the bottom ones, but yeah, you know, they exist. Okay. I like the music as well. The music's nice. It's very 90s. I uh, don't like that rock texture though. That that's not that that's also very 90s. That's a very 90s rock texture. A lot of 90s. Reminds me a lot of the 90s. Good times. Good time. Back when I could shit my pants and my parents would have to clean it up. Real good times. Bam. Is there any point to that? There was no point to that. I thought that might be the way to progress. <laughs> I don't even use the controls. I just press E on the door. And what is this? What is this? What is this? A fucking elevator for ants? <laughs> Wait, did it get bigger? No! What? Okay. The fucking Instagram field is back. The Instagram field is back, guys. Taking a selfie with my, like, washed out filter. Hides all my blemishes. Hashtag Half-Life Mod Life. 
Or Half-Life 2 mod life. Half-Life 1 mod seemed to be a slightly higher standard for some reason. I'm not sure why, but Half-Life 1 mods seem to generally work a bit better. Also, a room full of spider mines. Why? No idea, just spider mines. You expect a reason for there to be spider mines? No, fuck you. Spider mines. up those. I'm glad those don't explode because I would have just ate shit right there. This is this is padding your fucking Half-Life 2 mods runtime 101 right here. How can we make them stay in our mod longer? Let's just put down a bunch of spider mines. A fuck ton of spider mines. So they have to clear their path. Each one takes about three seconds to get rid of. So we'll just we'll just put a bunch of those down. That'll really increase our playtime on Steam. Half-Life Freeman looks... Half Hunt Down the Freeman looks good compared to this. Oh, I could have used those spider mines. You're right, it does. And he's just like, oh, if I camp behind this pillar, he'll never see me coming. He'll never see me coming. Oh, he, he noticed him. I'm just gonna wait here. and I'll get him when he comes around the corner. Oh, I'll get him. I'll get him so good. Oh, I'm gonna wreck him. I'm gonna wreck him. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, what? The fuck? Okay, did you guys steal this from somebody? This seems too competently made for somebody working on with this mod team. It was the one guy with half a brain assigned to the weapons and animations. Ouch, Jolly throwing shade. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Perhaps this is the main <laughs> entrance. What? 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 Oh, hey. Missing texture. Missing texture, guys. Perhaps this is the main entrance. Or may maybe, maybe this is the main entrance. Brother. Matt, perhaps this is the main entrance. The main entrance to what? The main entrance to where? What is happening? Loading screen. No? No. Oh, hole. No. <laughs> hole. Okay. <laughs> oh, perhaps this is the main entrance, guys. <laughs> Perhaps this is the main entrance. Huh. Well, <laughs> it did say perhaps. Yes, he's not quite sure. He's not quite sure. Also, you can see a hole in the ground. Uh, <laughs> he's not quite sure. Perhaps. Oh. Hmm. No, that's not the main entrance. Oh, hey, hey, crap zombies. Would you know where the main entrance is? This is, this is way too comp competently designed. Some, they had to have ripped this from somewhere, right? I do not believe anybody on this dev team made this. Has this mod been that bad? Grab not. Don't want to be mean. But yes. 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 It has in fact been that bad. It is... It, it, it is like... You know when you've got a subject in school where you just... You don't really give a shit. You don't want to be in that classroom. You don't really want to even bother with the work. You know that's not what you're going to be doing with the rest of your life. You're just sort of there because you needed the you needed a subject 
for that year, so you decided to select that one, because it, it seemed like the one that would require the least amount of effort. And then you've got, like, your final assignment, where you haven't really studied all year. You don't really care. You just need to get a passing mark. This is the the passing mark of, of Half-Life 2 mods. This is the... The teacher can't fail you because you did meet all the criteria of a Half-Life mod, but he's definitely not giving you an A. He's definitely not giving you an A. This is the C minus. No, this is probably just a C. This is the C of Half-Life mods. This is the, well, yeah, you did it. Good job. Don't select this class next year. <laughs> Why is this map lit up like the Messiah fucking returned? <laughs> oh, you know. There are some heavenly headcrab zombies here. Looks like the start of a Kanye West show. I guess. That wasn't really a good reference. Was it a good reference? I don't know. Why does this remind me of Kanye? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> ah, fuck it. It works. Not my best reference, you know, but it works. You like Kanye? I tolerate him. <laughs> when he comes on the radio, I don't turn it off. Level transition, level transition! There we go, enough of that. Whoop! <laughs> Straight into a brick wall! What the fuck? What the fuck? What the f- <laughs> How did they turn our character like that? <laughs> Perhaps this is the main entrance. Perhaps this is the main entrance. <laughs> Perhaps. I think. Maybe. I'm not sure. Hmm. Oh, or maybe this is the main entrance. Holy shit! I think that was the main entrance, guys. I missed my two hours of my life, man. <laughs> what? This, you're telling me this isn't quality content right here? Welcome to every 2018, 2019 Jolly Stream. We went through every single mod like this. We went through every shitty Half-Life 2 mod. We played shit that did not deserve to be played. This was what my content, this was my streams for like two years. And then people wonder why I'm playing fucking other mods and shit. Oh, fuck off. Okay, the electrified wire on the ground. Real nice. That's real nice. Real... telegraphed. Oh, just fuck yourselves. The ability to speak doesn't make you intelligent. When did I ever claim I was intelligent? In the slightest. At any point in my fucking YouTube streaming Twitch career, have I ever been like, Yeah guys, I'm a smart dude. I am intelligent. I'm great at video games. I never make any mistakes. Logic puzzles, I'm the fucking best at them. I am just so good. I'm the fucking greatest, guys. Don't you agree? Got him. Oh, fuck you, that was bait. Fuck you, that was bait. God damn it. Should have recognized the bait when I saw it. Fuck you, and that's a fucking electrified wire. Somebody clip this. Yeah, I'm in a real aggravated mood. I can't... I just can't figure out why I'd be aggravated playing this. Why would I be mad playing this? Fucking the fucking goddamn wires! The wires! Not even wires! The electrified tracks! They're not wires! Jolly, calm down. Look, man! Look, man! Got a lot of energy. I just picked up a fucking... 
missing texture. Hold on. I just picked up a missing texture. I've never seen that before. What was that? It's ammo. It's ammo for this gun. Fucking incredible. I guess I don't have CS Source installed. That that explains it. I don't have CS Source installed, guys. That's why I can't see that texture. Electrocuted for no particular reason! Sorry. <laughs> that was very loud. But yes, I was electrocuted for no particular reason. God, this mod has just a slow ramp up to insanity, doesn't it? They never expected anybody to get this far. They never expected anybody to get this far. They thought everybody would give up on that fucking haunted house map. They never expected a person would bother to get this far, but I did. I am fucking built different. Or an idiot who wastes a lot of his time. Why am I even going over there? Let's just beeline it for the exit. There's always an exit. It's a level transition. Right here. Three, two, one, level transition. End of that level. Or not. What? I don't fucking know, guys. Maybe I just press E on the door. Oh, I, I follow the wire back, and there's a wire that I have to press. That just goes up to fucking nowhere. Well, I guess maybe I go up here. <laughs> this is peak level design. <laughs> Don't even know if you can call it level design. You just gave a child fucking the hammer editor and went, Go nuts, buddy! Go nuts! Have fun! This is what he came up with. Oh, it's a big, it's a big electric thing in the center that like, electrocutes you and there's sparks coming off of it. And then, and then there's a big hallway, you walk down the hallway and then you're in a completely different area. And, and then there's a big staircase, there's like a headcrab zombie at the top of the big staircase. And then you jump on this weird platform thing, and, and you, you open the door, and then there's an electric sparky plug thing. But this one opens, even though the other sparky plug didn't open, but, you know, it, it doesn't matter. And it, then you just come through here, and then there's a level loading thing, and then, and then we move on to the next level, because I got bored. And then there's steam. And then there's steam, guys. And there's steam, and it's like bad steam that hurts you. No, it isn't, because of course it doesn't, because steam means nothing. And then you open up the door, and you go outside. Then we're back to the electricity, because I really like electricity. Electricity is fun. I learned about it in school. I really like electricity. And they're bad men. And they're bad men. And they throw grenades at you. It's, it's like it's built like by five-year-olds. Did you eat yet? Yeah. <laughs> what are you people on? Why are you people claiming that I'm not fucking on the ball today? I am so on the ball today. I am so on the ball. I am riding that ball into the ground. I am so on the ball today. I'm having a great time. You haven't thanked subs in a long while. No, I haven't, but I will. At the end of this fucking shit show. That's my release right there. You don't take breaks. When you're in a fucking... When, when you've got this fucking hate train going. You've got the hate train. It's out of the station. It's chugging down the line. You don't just stop. You don't just stop to thank people and be kind, alright? Let me continue with this great energy we've got going here. Now, what is the fucking... ...stupid ass solution to this shit? What, what will it be? What will it be? I've got... ...combine ammo here, so maybe it's shoot this? No. Jolly, eat a Snickers. Fuck you. Ow. 
Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! <laughs> you guys said use rocket, and I thought you meant on the guards. I don't know what happened there. Brain not function good right now. That was a brain fart. Why am I using anything other than my shotgun? My shotgun is just so brokenly good. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. This shotgun is the best. I j oh, I didn't one-shot him. But I will. I'll just jump shot him to death. He's dead now. He's standing next behind a wire, so it's really difficult to hit him. There you go, he's dead as well. I'm great. I'm great. I'm so good. Look at me go with my shotgun. Maybe go this way? Nope. Hmm. Maybe... Mm, RPG, maybe? RPG maybe. No, that makes way too much sense. That makes way too much sense. What? I'm not, I'm thinking like a regular human here, guys. I'm thinking like a regular human. I'm thinking like somebody with... Oh, no. No. No, no, no. No, no. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse to believe this is the solution to my problems. There's no way. No, this is this isn't it. This can't be it. There's no way to get back up. Yeah, no, this isn't it. Wee. Wee. <laughs> I surfed my way down on the bottom. <laughs> there's not a fucking there's not a kill box down the bottom here, guys. <laughs> uh there's not, there's not a, there's not a, uh, there's not a kill command when you reach the bottom. <laughs> oh. Oh, sick. Oh, this mod's sick. This mod's fucking sick. What about if I just run across here? No way! No way! I was hurt by fucking sparks before! I was hurt by non-visible fucking sparks! And then you tell me I can just hang out right here! RIGHT HERE! Oh, now it hurts me! Now it hurts me! Yes! There we go! Oh, you've only got about 20 seconds before it will start hurting you, you know. You can't stand there forever. But under those sparks, you know, they just instantly start hurt. I'm just going to the toilet. Fuck this. This mod's fucking stupid.
I'm gonna spill water all over myself. How's the rage piss jelly? Good. Also got got a message, but I can't read the message. I don't know what's happened. Something's gone wrong. I can't read the message. So I don't know. Somebody sent me something, but I can't read the message. Bro, are you good? <laughs> Am I good? Am I good? No, I'm not good. Don't know if you can't if you can tell I'm a little bit peeved right now. Little little bit. Jolly, peeved. don't be mad that you just suck at the game. <laughs> now keep sucking so we can laugh at you more. Just get good, bro. This mod isn't even that hard. Learn some pro gamer strats new. This mod is just too good for you. Go back to playing Pokemon Scrub. <sighs> oh. Oh. <sighs> You're right. I should just get good. You're right, troll. You're right. It's not even that hard. I can't believe you, you can't understand this five-year-old fucking two-grader logic, Jolly. can't believe you don't understand this perfectly simple level design. Why do I even... <laughs> this is not the laughter of a sane person. This is not laughter of someone having a good time. It's terrible. Oh, which corridor should I go down? I'm gonna go down this one. Oh, lots of buttons to press. <laughs> Level designed by a fucking five-year-old. I like buttons. I like levers. They're cool. I like pressing levers. Put lots of levers in. Oh, this corridor doesn't go anywhere. That's gonna be funny. When he walks down the corridor and there's no nothing at the end of the corridor. <laughs> I tricked him. I tricked him, he walked down the corridor and it doesn't lead anywhere. <laughs> well, this one also doesn't lead anywhere, but has some health and ammo at the end. Truly hilarious. Truly hilarious. You know, I'm almost beginning to believe this mod was made as a joke, just for me to download it and play it. This mod was all just one big joke. It's on Steam. But, you know, nobody gives a shit about source mods on Steam. So we're just gonna upload it there. And make some fucking shitty streamers play it. It'll be a laugh. They'll go in thinking it's gonna be something good, and then just... ...get fucking blindsided by the shittiness of it all. Zombie attacked without a headcrab. Oh no, there are headcrabs! They're just invisible for some reason. What the fuck do I do?! I was giving this mod the benefit of the doubt at the start, but Jesus, I'm just... I'm not so sure anymore if I want to. I think I'm just gonna start talking shit. That was not the... That was... That was not... You do not... That was not... That's not how you level design! That's not how you level design! <laughs> Somebody in chat just said the main entrance. He didn't even say anything else. He just said the main entrance. It's got me fucking cracking up. <laughs> perhaps. Perhaps. Maybe. Perhaps. Oh. Oh, you know what? I initially, I was initially like, ah, oh, fuck, another shitty Half-Life mod, but this has gone, this has gone so far off the deep end of shit, it's looping back around into hilarious. This is the best laugh I've had in weeks. 
there's just enough coherence to make this truly fantastic. Oh, I'm sorry. I know there are some of you that are just like, man, this is, he's just... Oh, he's just really hamming it up today, huh? He's really just like... This isn't even that good, but no, this is so bad, it is fantastic. Why is this door big? Why is the door big? That door is slightly larger than it should be, and I'm not sure why. And then you got this tiny door here. I don't know. I'm gonna start questioning everything here, because... I'm pretty sure no thought was put into this whatsoever. <laughs> I don't think... I don't think they even bothered to playtest this. They just slammed it together in the hammer editor and then went, Yeah, that's good. That'll work. That works. That's, that's good enough. Excuse me, what the fuck? Maybe I press E on one of these doors? There's a lever, there's a lever in there. Andy. Danger. What is high voltage? Where is it high voltage? What is this danger sign about? There's another error up there. What does that mean? Why is that there? What is, is the door high voltage? Wouldn't the door be a crushing hazard? Is there like a hole in the floor somewhere? Why does the railway end halfway down? Why does anything in this fucking mess of a mod? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Hi! Hello! What are you doing? What did- Why'd you start the fires? What did you just- What did you just- What did you just- <laughs> What the fuck is this? <laughs> The first person we see! The first person we see! The whole mod that wasn't like an apparition or some shit. And he <laughs> sets everything on fire. <laughs> oh shit, there are people to kill. I gotta kill the people. I gotta kill the people. Oh. oh, glad I streamed today. Fucking glad I streamed today. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. This is so bad. But there's something here. There's something here that is just inherently funny. <laughs> you okay, Charlie? No. No. <laughs> Let's see it again in all its glory. Come on, buddy. Why did you spawn in before? Oh, I just have to stand like right here. Here he comes. What's he gonna do? He's gonna turn the lever and then shit's gonna catch on fucking fire. And then I have to run away? And... Do what? Is it a stand here? Whoa! That was a bit of an overreaction. Let me try that again. Oh, wait, what? Seriously, though, wait, what? Uploading. Oh, I wanted to make another that was death. I can't understand the deep that was death. Of that man's personality. What the fuck? But honestly, I don't know what the fuck anymore. This mod is just. God, what cancer is this? What is this? This is a mod that was put on Steam, and I thought it would be pretty okay, because it was on Steam. No! I guess you had to run more? Yeah! Sorry, I'm screaming a lot. I'm doing a lot of the tuba screams today. I just got blasted to high hell. That's my fault. I forgot those guys were there. I'm doing the tuba scream a lot, and I'm sorry, I'm genuinely sorry, but this has had such a slow and sort of creeping ramp up to absolute fucking insanity that it's just... It's done things to me. It's done things to me that 
I... It should probably be in jail for, but it isn't. And I don't think I can sue a Half-Life 2 mod. It's touched me in places I didn't want it to touch. Regions of my brain have been activated that have remained long dormant. Right. I guess I run this way. Oh, I hope I run this way. This door is just magically open now. This door that was that was closed before is just magically open now. Why is it open? I don't know, but it's open now. Oh, look at that cool fire effect. That's cool. That's so cool. If the sequence leading up to that door doing that made any sort of fucking sense, that would have been really fucking cool right there. But of course it didn't, so it just kind of it happened. And I made fun of it. And that lever is in the middle of the fucking... Of the fucking thing it's in, so it just spins. The little thing just spins. Because they didn't fucking center that properly, like fucking geniuses. That takes too much effort, apparently. That's too much work. I feel sorry for these devs. I really do. But Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. These, just, this is unexcusable. This is inexcusable. This isn't, oh, you tried, buddy. This isn't Winston Chronicles. Where the dev legitimately tried. And he was like, I'm like, yeah, yeah. You, you did your best, man. This is, you just phoned it in. You got halfway through making a mod, and then just went, ah, fuck, I'm bored now. Let's go do something else. Uh, I imagine you can't shoot the guy that starts the fire. I imagine he doesn't take damage. Okay, we're here now. Which looks a lot like there, but slightly different. Oh, no, there's a pool. And, and... Ripped Portal 2 textures. Is that a pool? What the fuck is this? I don't know, because two. Oh, hi. Hello, sir. You, you look kind of cool. Let me just shoot you from extremely far away with my incredibly accurate shotgun. Oh, you look kind. You look kind of neat. Hi. Bye. You actually look quite well textured. That's a neat little design. I wonder whether they made that or just ripped it from something else. Because I have a feeling that they ripped a lot of stuff from other places. Is that from fear? Is this from fear? Is this model ripped from fear? No. Wait, what? Uh, uh, let me, let me just have a, a quick look. Not quite. What is it? Fear, um... It's fucking close, but it's not quite. It's not, it's not quite the guy from Fear, I don't think. Is it from Underhill? Somebody could could link me that? Just send me a DM with a link to it? Oh, hey dude. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Yes, I have what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? It really wants me to go that way, but why what is this? There are just enemies hanging about. There are just enemies hanging about. Right. Luckily, there's a huge open area, and I can just shotgun them from extremely far away. Oh, look at these super hard enemies that they've introduced. Super hard enemies that I couldn't possibly beat with my incredibly accurate long-range shotgun that I can shoot them from from halfway across the map where they can't even hit me.
We're out of shotgun. Oh shit, we are out of shotgun. Oh no. Oh no. How else will I kill them? How else will I kill them? <laughs> I've run out of shotgun ammo. I only have literally as much ammo as I could possibly have for my Desert Eagle and my RPG. Which isn't an RPG. But they call it an RPG. Okay. Let's go through here. Can I? Is that like a hole that I can fall down? Come back. I must shoot you. Got my buddy. Now. Well, fuck me. Oh, I got 11 health though. That's nice. I can't even fall down here. You can see that those doors don't actually lead anywhere. There's just the texture behind it. Uh, now I'm nitpicking. Now I'm nitpicking. Oh, bye guys. I don't know what was the other way, but I went this way. If I have to. Excuse me. <laughs> oh no. Oh, there we go. There we go. It took a second. Oh my god, it's G-Man. Hey, G-Man. Hey, buddy. How you doing? You're making yourself very obvious and woo. Okay. Usually, you know, you, you hide off in the distance so I can't see you, but no, apparently you're just front and center today. Can I not walk through these? No, I can't. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. And then you just put me back here for some reason, which is actually quite nice because now I can just... Jesus Christ, they hit hard. New plan. Okay, well, that's good enough. Thank you, Troll, for all the donations again. I've got to thank people, but I'm thanking them at the end. Oh no, they did it. They already chapped me and I want to go the other way and see what's over there. Oh, Rose has lost interest. One of my mods has lost interest and started playing Armor 3. As you do. Oh yeah. <laughs> Off he goes. Thought maybe I could kill G-Man, but I can't. I'm not allowed to kill him. I guess I have to uh, just w walk, walk. Do I have to? Okay, what the fuck am I supposed to do here? There's not. Th I have to. There's not. What do I do? I'm gonna go this way. Fuck it. I'm gonna go this way. Fuck that shit. Unless I can. Fuck. Oh, my, my suit ran out of energy. Oh, fuck off. Oh, that was a waste. Oh, no. Can I just... No. <laughs> oh, we're back to the... We're back to the slog. We're back to the grind before we get to the next interesting part of this mod. We're back to figuring out what the fuck's going on. Oh yeah, I have to walk it forwards a bit. Interesting? Yeah. I mean, bat shit and stain, stain stuff's interesting, right? <laughs> I love how he just stands right in front of your vision. No, G-Man never does this, right? He only does it in fucking shitty mods and opposing force, because opposing force is for all intents and purposes, it's just a shitty mod given money. Uh, you don't just stand out in the open, G-Man. <laughs> you did once in Half-Life 1. Rarely. Rarely. I'm also saving because fuck this shit. Can I like... It's gotta be... 
There's no way I have to Catwoman this shit, right? There's just no way. Platforming in first person is hard enough. Not being able to know where your own hitbox is means this is fucking torture. This is actual fucking torture. This is actual fucking torture. There is no way this is the solution. There is absolutely no fucking- there's got to be like- Wait, 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 wait. Oh, come on. That should have been the solution, right? Can I go back this way? Nope. I don't really think the smart idea is the solution. <laughs> this is... This is Jolly's Hardcore mod. This is... This is another Jolly's Hardcore mod. This right here is another Jolly's Hardcore mod. This is what this is. Right here. This is Jolly's Hardcore mod Electric Boogaloo. Nobody else is bothering to complete this shit. I refuse to believe that anybody else is bothering to complete this shit. It is me. It is me and maybe two other crazy people that are wasting their lives. I just said it. Hey, yeah, sick. I just read your message and then decided that, you know, I'd be a good comment to say in the game. Oh, did it! Did it! Fuck you. That's so fucking stupid. That is... That, that is just horseshit. That, there is no other word for it. Ah. <laughs> oh. I'll press button now. What does button do? Oh, it turns it off. Good, cool. I can turn that off now that I've already gone through it. What? Are you fucking... What is that? It's so low resolution, I don't even know what the fuck it is. I can hear man hacks around somewhere. Can I leave now? I can leave now, okay. I'm taking these with me, I'm taking this with me. Excuse me? <laughs> I'm stuck. Whoa! No, I'm not. I got it. I got it. I just mashed E on it until it opens. Half-Life 2, The Lost Coast. Yeah, there's a mod for Half-Life. Sorry, do you want me to change the name? I'll change the name. I imagine there are people here who are like, what the fuck? I came to watch you play The Lost Coast. There we go. There we go. Fixed it. I made sure everybody knows that Fast Detect is a Half-Life 2 mod. I can't pick up the ammo, guys. I don't care. Half-Life 2. Lost cause. <laughs> oh, yeah. Would have been a better name for it. Not gonna lie. How do I have 800 people watching this trash? Do something with your lives. Don't watch this! Oh, what is this? Is this a wipeout course? No, okay, I thought maybe I was gonna slide off these. Oh, hey dude, what's up? I'm just gonna... You just hit me for like 90% of my health with like two shots. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, and the floor's lava. The floor's lavas, guys. The floor is lava. It's bad touch. Don't do the bad touch on the floor. We are doing something. We're watching this trash. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, nope. Oh, my 
fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. That is, that is flooding the sewer with man hacks right there. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Oh wow, it's the sniper scene all over again. Go, out, out, out. Not this way, apparently not this way. Hi, man hacks. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. No, I don't need your shit right now. Yo, you know, you know that, that thing in Half-Life 2 where they're like, they're flooding the sewers with man hacks? Yeah, that's this scene. That's this scene right here. Fuck you guys. This is... This is normal. What is this like on hard? What is this like on hard? Is this just like trying to rip your balls off with a rusty spoon or some shit? What would th this isn't even This isn't even Oh my god. On hard, actually hard, I guess. Yo, fuck yourself. This is fucking difficult. Go <laughs> fuck yourself. Oh, this isn't hard. This isn't hard. Jolly, this is easy. You just shoot the man hacks. You've got a gravity gun, Jolly. Gravity gun gets rid of man hacks so easily. Just use the man hacks. Just use the gravity gun to get rid of the man hacks. Never tested it on hard, didn't bother. Yeah, no, I imagine they didn't even bother to test this on normal. Or test this at all. Or, you know, play it back after completing it. Oh my, this is just insanity. Right, can I make the jump to here? Yes, I can. Holy shit. Go, 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 go. Man hacks! So many man hacks! All the man hacks! All the man- The enemies. Not man hacks. The enemies got me. The real killers were the enemies. How the fuck? How did I make that jump on like my third attempt and now I just can't make it for shit? What is up with this jump? Fuck it, over here. Let's, let's try something a little bit different. Okay, that actually kind of helped. All right, all right, all right. Got one. Let's get RPG, 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 jump, jump, run. That didn't. You took an RPG to the fucking face! What are you made of? What have you done? This game is not balanced! This isn't fair! This is stupid! Why am I forced to platform down these fucking orange tubes from a fucking kid's playground? Look like something for a fucking wipeout course. Just to have to deal with these fuckers and a million fucking man hacks just coming for my ass immediately. I missed. I missed again. Not hit. I've missed streams like this. Yeah, my sanity hasn't. My sanity really hasn't missed streams like this. God, do I not miss streams like this. Might only get one stream this week, because this shit's fucking taking it out of me. This is like something from a fucking wipeout course. It really is. Right. One. No, I can't <laughs> have time! What is the intended solution? How did the fucking modders complete this section? How did they think this was okay? Just the man hacks alone would have been a spectacle, right? That's a fucking spectacle right there. That's an oh cool look at this mod moment. But the guards sitting right there just waiting for you, just waiting for you, isn't fun. I have four alt fire. I thought I had two. Get rid of both of them. Fucking go. Run! That is just a whole load of fuck off. I better be able to leave. No? Oh shit, they're coming for me. They're coming for me. I don't know what that even did. That opened up the door at the start. Okay, we've got some... Some level design that's doubling back on itself. Oh my. 
Thank you for the gifted subs. I need them. I need some sort of incentive to continue this stream. Oh, I have to- I have to parkour back across. You fucking pieces of shit. You fucking pieces of shit. I hate you. I hate you, mod devs. I hate you! There was an autosave. There was an autosave. Why was there an autosave? Fuck me in the ass. I didn't rhyme. I didn't rhyme. You might have noticed that didn't rhyme. It's because I'm fucking seething right now. God, I'm mad. God, I'm mad. Look, they're all just waiting. They're like fucking vultures circling, just waiting. Oh, and you can fuck right off, dude. Oh, yeah, that's what I need right now. I need to be fucking flashbanged. I need to be flashbanged. I need to be fucking flashbanged. He saved and then blamed it on the auto save. Did I save? Sorry, I'm forget. I'm just a I'm just mentally damaged yeah, right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot I auto saved. I forgot I auto saved. My brain isn't quite functioning properly right now. I have sort of gotten past the point of, you know, normal trains of thought. You, how did you get in front of me? Oh, I'm so dead. Run, run, run. I did it. I did it. I did it. <laughs> Fucking go! 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 Out! Two health! That's all I need. In fact, I only need one health. Two health is unnecessary. I could donate that health to a starving child in Africa, but I won't. Because I'm a greedy fuck. Go! I'm out of- I'm out of sprint. Just need to run. Run. Go. 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 <laughs> go. That's- How- That's actually- Okay. Two cool ideas in this mod. One, throwing the fucking explosive hand grenade, and two- YOU DON- WHAT?! 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 I was just giving you credit, mod. I was just giving you credit. I was just about to say, that's a really cool idea. A fucking swarm of man hacks chasing you down is a really cool idea. That's almost like, you know, like in a level with water that slowly rises. It's like that, but very Half-Life 2 specific. You, that's good idea. And then I spawn into a level and there are two people standing immediately there to shoot me in the face with the two health I have, because I don't have any health because you took it all from me. You take everything from me. It's fucking an bullshit. For you, Jolly. I've Maybe got a limiter on. I can we scream as much as I want. You can do it. Get fucked. We are cheering you on. Ten bucks on Jolly breaking his keyboard. But most of all, you are our favorite streamer. No denying that. I just tried to speak with a mouthful of water. <laughs> I've just tried to speak with a mouthful of water. <laughs> oh, this is so embarrassing. This stream is so embarrassing. <laughs> this one is so fucking terrible. It's so bad. It's so bad. Oh my. In like such a strange way. I can't verbalize how strangely shit this mod is. It's not a normal shit where you can just all sort of look at it and go, yeah, that is shit. It's got this like weird shittiness to it that I can't explain. <laughs> I'm fucking dying. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get Ed to edit this. I'm going to get the new guy to edit this. I'm going to get the guy that does the really good smash cuts to edit this. And I'm going to apologize. I can't even leave because there's an invisible wall you behind me. Fine, then you tried to talk with water in your mouth. <laughs> Fuck off the noise. I have issues, all right? I have issues. I can't- WHY DO YOU DO THIS?! What am I- There's no counter- 
play. There's no like, oh, I can hide behind something. No, it's just good luck. Hope you have health after that fucking sequence. Here's some more bullshit for you. Here's some more bullshit for you. Go back to my quick save. Go back to my quick save. I've got two health. Right, now we have to lead the fucking swarm of man hacks around until we find health. There's got to be health somewhere. Oh my god, this is still chapter one. Yeah, I feel like they may have broken the chapter system. Don't feel like the chapter system is quite working right. Yo, do you guys have health? Do you guys know when there's any health? Is there like a place around here? Why is there just a computer on a wall? Why is that there? That makes no sense. Guys. Guys! I think I've noticed the problem. We should really contact the devs about these random computer screens that make no sense. Can I like, get health from this? That kills me. That kills me. Yeah, I'm not even surprised at this point. I'm not even surprised. Of course the rockets kill me. Of course the rockets kill me for some reason. I don't know why the rockets kill me. The rockets kill me. Of course they oh do. My. And you know, and you know, I'm gonna make a video about this. I'm gonna have a video on this shit. And you know, you fucking know there are gonna be YouTube comments going, Wow, he really isn't trying that hard. This one's not that bad. It doesn't seem so bad. Why is he overreacting? Oh man, he's really putting it on. I hate fake YouTubers like this. It's gonna be Jolly's Hardcore Mod all over again. It's not that bad. If you just think through logically, it's really not that bad. Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. Fucking just die, you bitches! Just go to hell. Just yes. Yes. Go to hell. I'm just gonna link them. I'm just gonna link them the VOD. I'm just gonna say watch the whole entire VOD. Watch the whole entire VOD. And just watch the slow descent. The slow descent. You start off, you start off, you know, scrounging around between the couch cushions for a couple of extra dollars so you can afford your heroin. And before you know it, you're blowing, you're blowing a fat old man in a back alley. And everybody's like, wow! He really, he really must have no morals. It's like, no, it was a downwards fucking descent. It was a fucking spiral, all right? All right? It started off okay. I wasn't acting like this at the start. And then as time moves on, as it gets a little bit more ridiculous, a little bit more ridiculous, it just sort of falls apart. What are you talking about? I'm conflating this mod to a heroin addiction, all right? That's what I'm doing, sick. That's what I'm doing, chat. That's too specific, Jolly. Are you okay? I'm fine. I got paid. I'm fine. Ah, oh, fuck me in the ass. Please don't, actually. I'm not into that, but... You know. It's fine. Here we go. I lost my voice, guys. I've lost my voice. My voice is gone. <laughs> this fucking mod, man. Oh, the simplest thing. The simplest thing is getting me now. We're at the point where just putting two dudes behind a door. There's no health in here, by the way. They gave you no health. They gave you nothing. They expected you to complete that whole section. And this section without a modicum of health. Because who needs health? If you're badly hurt, just reload your fucking autosave from like 17 rooms ago. By the way, autosaves disappear and you haven't been manually saving, then I guess you just fucked. The reason this mod is getting me, the reason this mod is getting me so much, missed the legendary health station. You fucker. No, I did not. If I did, I will go back and get it. Where did I miss it? Sig 
Zigga, you better not be fucking lying to me, dude. Where? Where? Fucking where? Down here? You're fucking lying. You're lying. You're lying. You're all liars. I can't trust chat. I can't trust anyone. I can only trust me. Jolly, end this please for your own sad. Look, this is what my streams were. This is what I was. I'm returning to my roots, guys. I'm returning to fucking monkey. Bring it back to the start of the stream where I make the joke about the monkey. Oh. Oh, I'm heated. Oh, I'm so heated. If I was... I, call me a female hat. Cat. Fat. Shit. <laughs> call me a female cat, because I'm f in fucking heat. I'm so fucking heated right now. Fuck you. Oh, shit. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Is he gonna do a whole loop? He's gonna come back around? <laughs> oh no, not you! Not you! Come on, that was funny! Oh, thank god. <laughs> oh, I'm crying. <laughs> oh, I'm not editing this. Somebody else can edit this. I'm not editing this. Oh, there are more that just didn't give a shit. They just didn't care that I threw a grenade at them. They didn't care that their friends were fucking fighting me. They just stood there. They stood steadfast. They stood... They don't care. They are uncaring and unfeeling, just like the cruel world that this Half-Life 2 mod exists in. No! Oh! I thought it was more enemies entering the room. Oh, fuck off. I don't... I don't care. Please, health. Please, health. Health! Danger! High voltage! Danger! Go fuck yourself! There's no high voltage here! What is that implying?! I guess there are. There are. There is. I can't fault you for that. Those are high voltage. You know what? You know what? Maybe I'm getting a bit nitpicky. Maybe I'm getting a bit heated. You're oh. right. It's high voltage. Don't know why you put it in front of this shit, though. Jolly, this mod isn't even hard. We've been watching you this entire time. You are just trying too hard. Clearly, you are faking it for the views. Just stop pushing. Such cringe. So fake. Much wow. Thank you, Trovic, for um, preemptively leaving a YouTube comment on this Twitch stream. Um... I very much appreciate it. You're desensitizing me early. Thank you. <laughs> so you're supposed to call you with a butt in a chat. In, in chat. <laughs> That's really funny for some reason. I don't know. I'm fucking losing it, guys. I'm very sorry. I, to the person editing this, I'm going to give it to someone. I'm genuinely sorry. I'm genuinely sorry. I know I'm acting like a crazy person. I don't know whether you're even going to be able to get anything out of this, but... Just, I hope you find this funny. I hope you find this as funny as I do right now. Because you might not, but... <laughs> this is fucking hilarious. In the, in the midst of the moment, this is fucking hilarious. Take your normal pills, please. Dude, this stream has fucking killed me. I don't know what's happened, but- What the fuck?! What am I- Do I just jump? I'm just supposed to jump. Okay. Not even close. Not even in the top 10 weirdest design choices in this mod. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Oh! I wasn't looking! I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm in the water. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm I'm alive? Oh, that's just that's just a hunt down the Freeman. And by hunt down the Freeman, I mean a collection of headcrab zombies. That's what you call a collection of headcrab mm, zombies. You call it a hunt down daddy. the Freeman because that was its whole entire fucking thing. 
Okay, and they can't get me. They apparently can't get through here. That's nice. So I can just... <laughs> oh, shit! No, fuck off! <laughs> you know what? I can't be too angry at this mod. Because it's the best laugh I've had in fucking weeks. This mod has made me feel something. This mod has made me feel something. And you know what? That's more than I can say for most Half-Life mods. That's more than I can say for most Half-Life mods. This mod makes me feel. And he's... Oh, he's on a piece of rebar. It looked like he was on like a... <laughs> it looked like he was on that stick of corn. And I couldn't understand it. Not corn. Wheat or whatever. Wild wheat. Oh. I don't know what happened there. I did went to do it instead of... You know, making the noise a gun usually makes. Ah. If you're going back to your roots, how much do I have to pay for a drawing? You know I will pay more than any normal person <laughs> just for your great <laughs> drawing skills. <laughs> I love this campfire. It's just bricks. It's a campfire made out of fucking bricks. There's no fucking source for the flame. It's just bricks. Man, how the fucking freaks? <laughs> this one's funny as shit. Why did somebody release this? Why did you post this on Steam? Who was proud of this? Who was proud enough to release this mod? <laughs> Just somebody thought, somebody, there was more than one person. There was one person who thought, yes, this is something I am proud of. This is something I want to release on the fucking Steam. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me. I have put more thought and effort into fucking YouTube videos. Oh shit, dude! Oh shit, dudes! D why did he? Th Just why? Why? Greetings, brother. Does it even hurt me? Does the flame hurt me? Oh, at least it hurts. At least it hurts. Why is he on there? Because he fell down here. Okay. But why was there a fire here? If he was, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh. Who started the fire? The head crab zombies. They got a bit cold. Mm. What am I Andy? doing? What is the big, comically large red valve do? I don't know, but it's a red valve and I turned it. I'm good at... But red things are good. If you want me to find something in a mod, make it red and I'll I'll get to it and press E on it. I'm glad to see Jolly happy, but at what cost? But at what cost? I'm like a relapsing heroin addict right now. It's been years. It's been years. It's been so long since I've experienced truly shit Half-Life mods. I was finally getting better. I was finally back on the path towards... You know, being a functioning member of society. And then somebody just tripped with their heroin needle in their hand and just stuck it straight into my veins. And just... Ugh. Oh. The euphoria. I haven't felt this since I started playing Half-Life mods. All of this just fine electricity. Yes, electricity and civilization. <laughs> hey guys, do you think maybe this is the main entrance? Do you think maybe this is the main entrance? Perhaps. Perhaps this is the main entrance. Maybe. Maybe we found it. The main entrance to what exactly? I'm not sure. The main entrance to something. <laughs> the main entrance to progress, maybe. 
Oh shit, there are some there are some crates in the way, guys. How are we ever gonna get up here? How the fuck does any of this geometry work? Where did we come from? We fell down from somewhere and ended up here and oh my fucking god. Alright, continuing this mod's fucking obsession with a million bajillion Holy shit! They're all just waiting for me. They're all just waiting for me. They want me to see the spectacle. They want me to see the spectacle. Alright, give me a second. Is there anything out over there? Nope, that's all good. I think we came from over there, right? And we fell down there. Alright, here we go, guys. If it, if it doesn't work properly, we'll reload and we'll do it again. Here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. There we start. Yep, here we go. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's like something from a nature documentary and some of them have just given up and decided, you know what, we're just going to walk slowly. We're going to walk slowly and carefully towards our imminent doom. In that guy's case. I, I thought he was being smart and he'd like walk around them. But no. Truly beautiful. Nature really is something to behold. Not a bad idea, but they could have set it up more organically. Yes, like a lot of things in this model, like the like the man hacks. Once again, the man hacks swarm was a great idea. Horribly executed, and probably comes from a place of how many man hacks can we put in a single room? I don't know. Let's just put a fuck ton in a single room and see what happens. Oh, hey, it works okay. Rather than we actually want a man hack swarm. How much can we fit in a room and how can we do this so it's organic and cool and stuff? The man hack swarm. Somebody take that. Some modder. If there's a modder watching, go grab that shit and take it and put it in something good. And be like, you have to like platform over things while man hacks are chasing you. That is a fucking cool idea. I give you permission to rip whatever you can from this mod. Because God knows it doesn't use anything it should prop. Why is there just a blinking white light? What is that? You guys can see that, right? Is it just an artifact? Is my GPU dying? No! Look at it! What is that? What is this? It's like right here. I thought I was going crazy. No! Is it the HUD? Oh, digital! Hey, buddy! Hey, buddy! This is a good one. Is, this is a good one. This is a real good one. You chose a good stream. Welcome! I made an analogy to a relapsing heroin addict before. Because, oh boy, is this taking me back. I was crying earlier. I was crying. This is the- uh, that doesn't even- that doesn't- that's barely- that's barely passable as a level transition. It's better than most. That's better than most. I've got to give you credit. It's better than the fucking infinitely long hallways. How the fuck did you get here? Look! Look, man, there have been some real shit level transitions, so I've got to give him credit on this one being okay. Kind of. This could be the section after that section. What have you all brought me to witness? Who who brought you to witness what? What? Well, how's your internet doing? Okay, <laughs> the trip's back! The trip's back! We're gaining consciousness again. The Chinese water torture is continuing. Our mind is breaking with each passing moment. The guard came along and just whacked us on the head. <laughs> oh, wait, what the hell? Why? You just sat there, you just sat there in the corner. Can you just... <laughs> Come on, please, dude. Please walk. Yes, there we go. Thank you for walking into the barnacle. Yeah, internet's still fucked. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hey, it forces you to take a break. You deserve it. Oh! 
I've never seen that before. That was a sick trick. I need to grab you from him. I want to grab you. Yoink. Oh, oh, I was about to take out those uh, zombies, but apparently I don't need to. The barnacles have me covered. Really? Uh, head crab zombies should be smarter than this. Usually in nature, when something develops to kill, like, another thing, the other thing also develops to stop being killed by the other thing. And it's like an, a technological arms race in terms of evolution. But head crab zombies don't have that. They just don't have that for some reason. Valve really needed to work on that. Okay, more electricity. I wonder if this electricity will kill me, or it won't kill me. Or it just kind of doesn't exist. What's the bet? I can walk straight through this. I can walk straight through this. The electricity doesn't kill me, guys. It it's, it's, doesn't hurt me. However, those sparks that we had to deal with before. Fucking lethal. Lethal sparks. Ouch. Oof. Sparks. They hurt. Big pulsating electricity? No fucking problem. Can I like... Oh! Hey! Okay, it upgraded my gravity gun. That's... strange, but I'll take it. And there's nothing to use it on in this room, so that's really... <laughs> fucking useless. <laughs> so many, so many missing textures just littered around the place. I can't grab anything. What the fuck do I do here then? Oh, oh fuck you. Wait, is this even upgraded? Why do I... No, I guess I can do this from further away. Where do I go? I don't know. What the fuck? What the f... What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> That's the weirdest door control I think I've ever seen. And it was black, by the way. Which usually isn't the color of valves that I can turn. But that's cool. Uh-oh. I may have just soft-locked myself here by walking into the wrong side of the... Thing. No, we just... We, uh, yup, we jumped straight on out of it. Don't worry, it's fine. <laughs> Thought I was going to be trapped in there. But no, we're cool. It's good. It's fine. Just popped straight on out of it. Can't talk to him. Whoop, just a hole in the world. And a big fuck off the spoilers. Spoilers. Don't spoil it. <laughs> well now all difficulty is gone, right? All difficulty is gone now, isn't it? I'm gonna put you next to him. What the fuck? Is I are we in, like, some sort of virtual reality thing? Is the twist gonna be that we're in some sort of virtual reality nightmare? Because these guys have been around, right? These guys have just been hanging out. Is it possible that we're in some sort of virtual reality nightmare? Because I'm failing to have any sort of explanation for what the fuck this is. That would make sense! Wait! Wait! Hold on! Are we in a virtual reality nightmare? Because we keep going back to that UFO place. We keep going back to that UFO place. Is that UFO place a fucking, like, hub world? I think I figured out the story. It's like a hub world. And then we, we're, like, jumping into different levels. Why is there a rotating cannon and a ro Digital, don't even start asking questions. You will not- your questions will only be followed by more questions. There is no relief. Just embrace the insanity and get on with life. Don't even attempt to make sense of this shit. I didn't know you could do that. I've never used the, the super gravity gun on these guys before. doesn't even kill them it just they you just pick them up and then it they just stop trying to exist oh i have to stop this in the right spot and i don't know where the right spot is oh fuck me 
Nothing. Nope. These switches are just painted on. Oh, what? Okay, why even put enemies here if I've got a super gravity gun? You might as well just remove all enemies at this point. Oh, I want to... S what the fuck do you want me to do here, video game? Is I have to stop this... But... Oh, hey, dude. What's up? Out of the way. There is no way they thought that much about this, Jolly Wanker. It would be cool, but no way. <laughs> Why did they do this? And I love how they've put in objects that aren't affected by the super gravity gun. So it kind of makes the super gravity gun less fucking interesting. Oh, okay, I have to go across here. Right, I should have explored over here before going that way. I have to put this that way. Really, I should just be able to pull that with the super gravity gun. But, you know. Semantics. Can't go that way. This way is no way. Not allowed to go that way. You can tell by the fact it fucking kills me. And there's no visible signs that I'm not supposed to go that way. You couldn't have just put a wall there. Have you heard about this cool thing called a wall? Even an invisible wall. It works. It does the job. Instead of just fucking killing the player. Instead of just killing him, for no particular reason. But you know, what do I know about game design? What do I know about game design? I'm just an idiot that plays mods on the internet. Fucking look at it! Fucking look at it! There is nothing! There is nothing to tell you that this fucking kills you! Why is it to kill- <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, Digi, I know you're watching this going, well, that's just a, that's a bit of a mistake. That seems like he made a bit of a mistake there, but I don't know why Jolly's going on so much ab about it. Like, I could see people making these mistakes. Imagine about 50 of these throughout this whole entire mod. Just 50 of these little things. Just little strange things. Just back to back to back. It's just... The straw that breaks the camel's back. I just have cut after cut after cut until I'm bleeding out. It's like ants fucking jabbing me with a bunch of goddamn needles. Just a thousand different ants jabbing me with their needles until suddenly I pass out from blood loss. Fuck off, dude. <laughs> Oh, gravity gun's fun, though. The super gravity gun is hilarious. Where did you go? There you are. Okay. I have to stop it. I have no idea, because this, this fucking screen doesn't help me at all telling me where I have to stop it. Can I restart it? You're kidding me. Once I stop it, I can't restart it until the time is up. So I just fucked up there. What am I doing for the next minute? I'm twiddling my thumbs. Hey, what's up, guys? Maybe a little bit exaggerated. You take that back. You take that back now. It's fucking bullshit. <laughs> what do I do while this is happening? Can I... Oh, I can redo it. I just fucking hurt this mod. Sorry. I mean, I'm enjoying myself. I'm having a good time. I didn't save. I didn't save, did I? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I. 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 Don't worry. It's fine. We're fine. It's good. <laughs> Sorry, just dying. I'll try and do it quietly. Did you know? Did you host me? And I just not notice. No, you couldn't have. You can't stream. Who told you to come here? <laughs> Who told you? You wouldn't come here of your own volition. Nobody watches me by choice. 
You're all held by gunpoint. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay, there we go. Ah! I told him to come here. Troll, why'd you tell him to come here? He needed some comfort. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't need help. I'm fine. If this thing fucking starts moving, if this fucking overgrown pepper shaker starts fucking moving, I'm gonna be so pissed. It didn't. Thank God. Yeah, it now started moving. Okay, well that's that's forgiving at least. That's not though. <coughs> Fuck me. <coughs> I'm not I'm not coughing at the mod. I'm just dying. My throat has has taken a beating today. <sighs> Shoot them with my RPG. I didn't even kill both of them. You know what? You know what? Try again with a different thing. Corona? I don't have Corona. Alright. You know why, why are we using any other gun than our shotgun? Which has infinite range and does a stupid amount of damage. And there's another one. Whoops. Can I turn this off? No, I can just walk underneath it. No, I can't! Because of course the steam hitbox extends behind as well. Of course the steam hitbox extends behind. Why did I think it wouldn't? You playing on hard? No, I'm playing on fucking normal. This is just what normal is. Okay, maybe I can like parkour over it? Maybe I can like... If I just... Yeah, okay, there we go. That's not the solution, is it? There's there's gonna be like a... A thing you can do out here, isn't there? Or not. They just let you go out there for no particular reason. Really, that is the solution, huh? That is the solution, huh? So, are you sure that I can't just fucking crouch under here? I can. But I was too close. I was simply too close to the very hot steam. Are you meant to do this? Apparently I am. Apparently I am. It's hard to tell because what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do just generally look the exact fucking same in this mod. Are you in Aperture Laboratories now? I'm in a facility that stole a lot of textures from Aperture Laboratories. Go fuck yourself, modder. That's some cheap ass fucking shit design. I don't think the mod devs intended for you to do anything. It's, it's a very open-ended mod. We didn't actually expect anyone to get this far. We really didn't expect anyone to get this far. Congratulations! We didn't even plan out a path for people to get this far. We expected them to stop hours ago. I, I mean, really, you're in uncharted territory here. We don't even know what the fuck's going on anymore. I've never seen these levels before, and I designed them. Holy shit. <laughs> Where, what am I supposed to do? I guess I'm supposed to jump to- That- It doesn't exist! It's not tangible! As I just said, as I just said, the designers didn't expect you to get this far. The difference between what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do in this just is- is a, a complete fucking guess. It's a 50-50 chance that modders intended you to do that or didn't intend you to do that. Where, where, where the fuck do I go then? In here maybe? I can't... Oh my god. <laughs> Why even have the button there? 
Why would the button be there? No, 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 no. Why would the button be there? All right, I know this isn't game logic, but why would the button be there when you have... If you have to enter this door and every time you have to hop over the fucking guardrail and press this button, that is just a shittily designed door. On top of that, this is a really shittily designed loading screen. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, no. Really shittily designed. More shit than I thought it was going to be. Loading straight... What? Node graph out of date rebuilt thing? <laughs> Wait, what? I don't know, but we're, we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back on the UFO now. <laughs> that was brief little level there. Really small little, you know, level there. Oh, now we're... Now we're on the ship again and they're attacking us? Right? You overflowed the level, I guess? I don't quite... I win? I win. Is this the UFO? Yeah, this is the UFO thing. I said the UFO. I don't know whether... It looks like... It's like a space world. Maybe it's like a VR place? You weren't supposed to quick load there. Are you sure? Because there are enemies here. I'm gonna get a bunch of shit. <laughs> Someone got lazy with the mapping. Got lazy. Got lazy. No, I'm pretty sure he started off lazy. I don't think there was a point where he where he just sort of stopped trying. I think it was a continuous fucking half-assed attempt at modding and at level design. I don't think there was ever a point where they were trying particularly hard. I don't I don't even think this mod started out with the best of intentions. I think it was, hey, wanna make a Half-Life mod? Uh, not not really. I guess. We got a couple of hours. Fine, fuck it. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, uh, submit this for, uh, being put on Steam. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. Could you imagine if they accepted that? Could you imagine if they accepted that? <laughs> that would be so stupid. A couple of weeks later. Hey guys, apparently they accepted our, our, our submission to be put on Steam. Huh? What? Really? Oh, okay. Oh shit, we probably should have put more effort into the mod then, huh? Yeah, fucked it. Really? <laughs> yeah, I think I did. Th I may have fucked it. Um. Or not? Next level? Next level! Wait, what? Isn't this the place from before? Where am I? Precinct 13. Access card required? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? I... Am I at the next... Am I... Am I at the next level? I'm at the next level. I've lost health. What's happening? I lost a bunch of health there. Why the fuck did I... Precinct 15. Whoa, what the shit? Why did I... Why did I spawn in... I don't know. I don't know. The difference between what is the correct solution and not a correct solution is decided by a mad monk that has long <laughs> since lost his sanity. He reads the blood of a dying man, then tells the devs what to do. Yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. You know, at the start of this mod, I would have, I would have called you crazy, but... You know, after completing what I think is most of it, God knows if this is actually most of it. I think you might be right. What did I just do? Okay, that moves the tram thing. This mod just took a beeline straight into horror. Just straight into like full on like corruption horror. I would not, I would not be surprised. This was all just one big long con. If this was the Doki Doki Literature Club of Half-Life 2 mods.
That's a fucking hilarious sentence. That's a new sentence. Nobody's ever said the Doki Doki Literature Club of Half-Life 2 mods before. Those words have never been put together like that. And it would have a very specific, specific audience, wouldn't it? You've got maybe a, a couple, like 10,000 people. 10,000 people that would understand and, and like respect the insanity of it all. At least Doki Doki has some sort of logic. No, but that's, that's the best part of it. That's the best part of it. Because this is completable, right? And just like the sudden, that would be amazing. You build a mod that slowly improves and just gets more and more fucked up as time goes on. Like the level design gets better, the gameplay gets better, and just everything sort of improves as the game continues. I think you were spoiled by a Portal 2 run through. I had no idea you usually put yourself through this. Not as much anymore. Used to be a weekly occurrence. But uh, nowadays, I, you know, I, I generally change it up occasionally. Because it, it turns out, you know, I don't need to fucking subject myself to this shit to have an entertaining stream. I have the fucking super gravity gun. It doesn't work on them. It doesn't work on them. Because of course it doesn't. Oh my god, he's going to hit me once and I'm just fucking dead. Did Dude, can you fucking die, buddy? Nah, fuck it. I'll just use my shotgun. <laughs> oh, my Desert Eagle? No, can't hit him. Not a chance in hell. My shotgun, though. Laser accurate. Fuck you, video game. <laughs> what the fuck? What? You're... You're, st you're stuck in the floor. Wait, what? Where are you? What are you? Oh, no, he's no longer stuck in the floor. He was stuck in the floor, but he's no longer stuck in the floor. Greetings, brother. This is... Nah, shotgun. I keep changing the RPG being like, this will fix all my problems, when the real solution to my problems is shotgun. It is shotgun. It is always shotgun. I have one ammo. This is absolute insane. I fucking hate this. And the worst part is, I, if you just spawned me in on full health, this wouldn't be a problem. But no, you spawned me in on 60 health for some reason. I lose health using the teleporter. Is there a way I can get down to the ground? Yes, there is. All right. All right, 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 right. Oh, not what I wanted to do. But it works. There we go. And before you ask, yes, I did mean to do that. I did mean to do that. You can all pog now. You can all pog now. God damn it. God. I hate these hitboxes. Did that... That killed the one on the left somehow, but not the one on the right. It apparently just shrugged it off. Like it was... Is this the fucking CSGO Desert Eagle? Is that why I'm missing so much? Because this is the fucking CSGO Desert Eagle? And after the first shot, the accuracy is shit? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Oh, fuck you, dude. You're clipping through the floor. Look at him. What is he doing? Why is he doing that? I saved in a bad spot there. Why is he clipping through the floor? How did you fuck this up? 
How did you fuck this up? The source engine is so fucking stable. It's so stable. How did you fuck that up? How did you make him clip through the floor? Oh, fuck you. How many of these fucks are there? I think this is, I think this is the CSGO thing. Thank God for the fucking shotgun. Right, wait, hold on. So, insanely accurate, right? Wait. Yeah, so it gets, it gets less accurate the more you shoot it. It's, it's doing the fucking CSGO thing. That's great. That's cool, dude. So, I need to, I need to like, stutter my shots with this. Great. That's neat. So first shot is accurate, and then every follow-up shot is less accurate. <laughs> Charlie, everything okay at home? You feeling okay? No! Some fucks are making me play a shitty Half-Life mod. It's terrible. It won't let me leave. I thought that was- I legitimately thought that was the end of the level right there. <laughs> this mod has broken me. I'm like, yeah, that looks about right. That looks about where the loading screen should be, and then I'll just pop in on the other side. Everything will be right. Can be can this be reset by pressing Q on I'll test it out. So I don't I don't have quick switch. There's no quick switch. Why is there no quick switch? Hold on. Quick switch? Quick switch? Hello. This is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Jolly, you've become stuck in a dream, but do not worry. We're working hard right now to get you out of it. Please do not continue going into it else it will turn into your worst nightmare. It can be, yep, yep. So you just have to quick switch. Because otherwise... Yeah, so quick switch. <laughs> <laughs> it's got, like, the CSGO inaccuracy. Alternatively, it might just be that my screen shake is actually- No, it isn't. I was about to say, uh, is it my screen shake? I think it is my screen shake, actually. Ha! Huh. It's my screen shake, so if I- It's my screen shake. Okay, that's strange. So my screen shake isn't just an effect, it's actually moving my camera. That's okay. I can deal with that. That's actually... I've got a flight recoil then. That's interesting. Usually the screen shake is completely separate from the gun itself. Recoil? What a concept. In in Half-Life 2? And Half-Life in general? Fucking strange alien concept, my dude. Not a single gun in Half-Life 2 has recoil. Where do I go? What do I do? Do I touch the error message? Ah, oh, the rails? Oh shit! There was that cart, right? Maybe I'm supposed. Oh, this isn't. This isn't. This is mod's version of on a rail. They didn't go. Hey, remember that cool level from Half Life One? Let's recreate that. I swear to God, if this is like the halfway point of this mod, I just. A bullet's looking real tasty right now. That gun barrel. Oh, it wants to go in my mouth. It really does. Mmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. What the, the fuck? What the... Can we go? Can we go? Oh, he has to put out his little feeler first. He has to dock first. There we go. Cool. When did this mod end? It's a bit long for a shit post. <laughs> they may have not put in much effort, but they didn't put in much effort over a very long mod. They half-assed the whole eight hour campaign. <laughs> Why is it so slow? <laughs> Why couldn't you speed this up? 
Oh, we've stopped. We've stopped all together now. You know what? I'm just gonna... Can I walk it? I can. We're just gonna walk it. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's quicker this way. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. It's far too slow otherwise. <laughs> oh, those lights are a bit slow. I'm fine. I'm fine. We just fell down a bit. It's fine. Oh, lights turned off. <laughs> Uh, the door's closing and we have- Okay, well fine, fuck it. It's, it's fine. <laughs> we, don't, we don't need the cart. Who needs the cart? It's much quicker just to walk. <sighs> Yo, if we could get another one of those juicy level skips, where I just- where, Ah! Yep, what? Not quite what I was looking for, game. Uh, not quite the level skip I was looking for. I'm down here now. Danger, open pit. Uh, sure? Maybe they ran out of appropriate warning signs. Maybe they were like, oh shit, it's danger, danger squishing hazard, but we don't have any more of those. What do we have? Uh, danger open water and danger open pit. Ah, fuck it. O open pit's close enough. O o open pit's close enough. Also, who puts a fucking warning sign here? What, who's, who's gonna be down here? Other than me, because the level fucked up. I've lost all my guns. I've lost all my guns, guys. This can't be deliberate. This must be a glitch. I've got no gravity. There's no gravity. I'm dead. I think I have to be in the cart. <laughs> now th Low gra gravity again. What the fuck? Okay. Let's just stay on the cart. Because the cart is safety. It's also very fucking slow. Jesus Christ. <gasps> oh, there was low gravity. Wait, no, hold on. For whatever reason, the gravity stopped working, which is very helpful, except if you fall off like a fucking idiot. Here we go. This is what I have to do. Nah, I've got it. I got it. Actually, we can just reload this level. I know. I know exactly what happened there. So what I have to do is I just have to jump across here. There we go. Nailed it. I think what was supposed to happen is I was supposed to end on the cart up there and then walk down here. <laughs> I didn't. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> this mod is <laughs> so bad it's making me ill. What the fuck is- I maybe- no, maybe I have to depress an E on those? Fuck <coughs> me. Oh, <coughs> God damn, I'm having pizza for dinner. I am pizza for dinner. Fuck this. That's the button. <laughs> I walked straight past the button. There we go. Right. Now let's just... Am I supposed to be up there? I don't know, but I can get back up there by jumping. <laughs> I think I was supposed to have that cart. Real, I can't, I can't, I can't get through. Excuse me? I guess I'll go up there. Wait, hold on. I got it. 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 No, fuck it. Fucked it. Fucked it. I'm gonna go back around. I'm gonna go back around. The mood feels ominous for some reason because it's weirdly had effort put in in some places and then it, it's like the the map designer handed over all these maps to the dude and was like yo dude so these these are my maps so far there are they're a bit all over the place but these are the maps I've got and they're, they're somewhat ready to go and the fucking mod designer just stapled them all together in the most half-assed way and went yeah no it's cool good we, we did it we're done 
It's like they got halfway through a group project and then was just like, ah, oh, fuck it. Would teacher wants, teacher wants it right now. Just staple it all together and hope we get like a passing mark. Why is that there? Why is there just a door in the middle of the... Can I, can we just go? Can we just, okay, I'll just walk it again. Now the rail is electrified. Wasn't before, but now it is. Because of course it is! Why wouldn't it be electrified? Can I j jump far enough? No, it's, it's all electrified. Well, then what the fuck do I do? <laughs> Those doors are so far off where that should be. I'm just gonna keep hitting E and hoping for the best. Loving fuck do I do here? Jump on the boxes. What? Oh yeah, okay, that would be it. That would be it. That would fucking goddamn it. The only reason I've got 1k viewers, I know why this is, is because I'm on the front page of Twitch Australia. And there are enough people fucking clicking on Twitch Australia, because it's about that time of night where people come home. And there are people just sitting on the front page, not watching, but just sort of there. Is this, this, I don't understand why you've done this. I can't believe you've done this. You've posted this on Steam, guys! This is like an alpha! This is, hey look guys, we've we've built some levels. Do you think you can give us some feedback on how they work and what they do? And then somebody just posted it on Greetings, fucking Steam brother. as a laugh! This isn't a game! This isn't even a fucking functioning mod! Look what I'm doing right now! And it's not like I set out to fucking break this section. It just happened. What the fuck is that? No, I'm dead. No, I'm not. I'm on the ground. Oh, now I'm dead. Right. We're going back to the train car. Oh, you fucking... Just start. Just start, you stupid fucking tram. Maybe if I reload the section? And now it's electrified. Controls are where? On the left top of the box. I'm so tempted to no-clip. You have a Lebanese viewer here. Hello! <gasps> You're right! Oh! <laughs> it's next to the fucking non-tangible stoop. That's... You're serious! It, that's like two seconds of your life there, Mona. That's like two seconds of your life. Just remove it. It uh, What? Where are you going? What are you doing? Should I be standing on that? I should be standing on that, right? I should be standing on that. Give me- let me up. Let me up. Let me up. Let me up. Nuclear warheads?! What?! Sorry, that was- that was a little bit loud. What I meant to say there was- what the fuck?! Where am I?! Um... Uh, yeah, okay. I have a theory that the further we're gonna get into this, the less effort they're gonna be putting in. I think this is- this is well and truly the point where the developers just decided, nah, fuck it, nobody's getting this far. Um... <laughs> at the main entrance, Jolly. Oh, of course! Oh, perhaps. I'm not quite sure, actually. 
Nukes? That's neat. I didn't know this mod had a plot. I didn't know this was actually going anywhere. I just thought at some point it'd be like, BAM! I got to the main entrance! Congratulations, you win! We are loading nuclear missiles. Yes, hopefully to nuke the house of whoever bothered to make this fucking abomination of a Half-Life 2 mod. <laughs> Sorry, that was mean. That was too mean. That was too mean. I wouldn't want to nuke your house, person that designed this mod. That would cause a lot of collateral damage. That would cause a lot of collateral damage, and I'm not... I'm not about that life. I wouldn't want to kill innocent people. What? Oh, is that opening? Oh, it's opening up that... What the fuck? Are we launching a lot of little nukes? Uh, usually there's a, like a, a head on this, and then they all break out at the last second, right? They look like a lot like syringes, don't they? Those are syringes. Those are syringes. That's a nuke, though. What am I doing? What am I doing? Yo, I feel like I... ...signed up for something that I'm not sure I wanted to sign up for. Nukes are bad, okay? <laughs> Why did anything happen? I don't know. What that have to do with me finding power and energy and finding civilization? What were those dudes attached to like those weird VR things? What was any of that? Why'd I have to find the main entrance? Or perhaps. Maybe we found the main entrance. I don't know whether I ever actually found the main entrance. Perhaps the main entrance was code word for fucking nukes! Your VR theory was disproven, I think. Yeah, no shit! Because there was no logic to the mod at all! It wasn't leading up to anything! We destroyed civilization. Look, man, if that was the whole world, I wouldn't want to live in it either. Most of that world was at 20 FPS, and if I'm going to live in a 20 FPS world, I'd want to launch the nukes as well. It's a fucking- No! This is just the fucking credits for Half-Life! These guys were not voice recording at fucking Pure Audio Seattle? Alex Vance? Crack Legality? T These are just the credits for fucking Half-Life 2! <laughs> Did they just forget to remove those? Maybe they included them being like, thanks Valve! No, it's just the Half-Life 2 credits. Also, your heart is still on. Yeah, I wonder if I can shoot. Oh, I can press E though. Can't shoot. Half-Life 2. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't yes it doesn't even end they did the half-life modding thing of not knowing how to fucking kick you back to the main menu after the credits they didn't know how to kick it back to the fucking main menu so you're just stuck on a black screen until you hit quit. Until you hit quit, of course. <laughs> oh. oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. It's the best. <laughs> oh, oh, guys. 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 Oh, we have to read reviews. We have to read reviews. 
I'm sorry, we have to read reviews. We can't not read reviews of this fucking stellar experience. <laughs> the experimental graphic story, Fast Detect, takes place in the post-apocalyptic Half-Life. Apparently it was in Half-Life? Shown from the artist's special point of view. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't lie. Sorry, I should have read that before I played. It doesn't lie. It was a very special point of view. A very. I really hope this dude doesn't have autism or some shit. I really hope this dude isn't like differently abled. Please be just like a normal dude. It's got a publisher. Please don't be like somebody like just trying their heart, like a, a, like a, somebody with a disability. Please don't be somebody with a disability. Please don't be somebody. I'm going to feel so bad. Phosphorus.games? Discover R projects? They're still around. My voice is breaking because I yelled so much. Gore. They're Russian. <laughs> this is one of their other games. This is one of their other games. Gore, the... Which already ruins the acronym. Gory, outrageous, radical experience. Lights on, blood out. <laughs> In basic, Core is a very classic third-person single-player storyline-driven game. Besides that, everything is re-tough. <laughs> you start up your digital life in endless pain reborn as a failed genetic experience. <laughs> I want to play this. Deep in the secret test facilities of Russian of the Russian military located on the island of not even going to try. Below tons of ice and atomic waste, the Russian military created a secret test lab for experiments with humans and animals. And guess what? You're the latest result. Why does this read like the back of a box on a best of the worst episode? You guys know Red Letter Media? Sorry, you guys can't read this shit. Sorry. Do you know, like, the best of the worst, where they read out the backs of the boxes? Like, sorry, the back, the back of the box? This reads like that. But due to a failure within the security system, you got away <laughs> and could escape from the test chamber. If you wanted to, you know, if you were feeling like it, you could escape if you'd like to. You still feel human, but as soon as the bloodlust kicks in, you realize you are not. For any and all mechanisms, for any reason, for any reason, all mechanisms, doors and switches are operated by blood. For any reason. We haven't thought up the reason yet, but it could be anything. It really, it, it doesn't really matter. Blood operates things. That's all that matters. Yes, by blood. Your only weapon, your body, your ammo, rips, spines, and skulls ripped off of the enemy's bodies. Think you added rips for no particular reason there. Um, enough spoilage. <laughs> Was this was this Russian and they Google translated it? Let the blood fun begin. No, it can't be, because words like blood fun don't exist. <laughs> Enough spoilage. Put the milk back in the fridge. You'll spoil it. <laughs> Oh, anyway, anyway, we have to, we have to get back to Steam. We have to get back to Steam. Uh, what? Oh, okay. It's a nice person. It's a nice person. 
What? Okay. This game was... This game... You're right. This game was not a waste of your time. You're right, person on the internet. You're right. Kov... Kov... Whatever your name is. You're right. Fast Detect didn't feel like a waste of time. It did not. It was a fucking experience. You're completely correct. It was not a waste of time. In the slightest. It was fucking incredible. Fast Detect looks like a passion project from a collaboration of talented people. Okay. Th I agree with you on this one. Not so much on this one. Um, I respect the passion and dedication... I respect passion and, and dedicated to the respect. I respect passion and decided to respect this game. Sorry, dyslexia. While playing, I made a list of pros and cons and I'll share them with you. Oh, I would love to see your pros. Pros, the, this game has a lot of custom content and I really mean a lot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure most of it is stolen. But I don't have, I can't get, I can't say that for sure. There seems like there was a lot of stuff that I think I've seen in other Half-Life mods. Oh, so custom content. Yeah, they didn't just post fucking Half-Life 2 levels with slightly different skins. Although they did. Because they straight up ripped that first section from City 17 and just stuck it in their game. Felt like a good roaming simulator. Yeah, except the frame rate was fucking shitting the bed the whole time. By the way, the first level that I finished in like 10 seconds because I just walked into the portal that apparently shot me onto the next level. Good asset management? <sighs> Long loading times. Didn't get that one. Bit more proofreading. <laughs> Oh, they fixed that. It used to be not electric, but electric. That is a fucking understatement. Third and final con for me is that the map goals sometimes felt counterintuitive. That is a fucking understatement and a half. I pressed the button in one map and then just walked around for the next 10 minutes looking for where I needed to go. Turns out a door out of, in the middle of nowhere, it was just open, and it just it needed to walk through a door that was not signposted at all. Also, a couple of notes. I could have complained about the low frame rate I was getting per play. You could have complained about a fucking lot of things. Trust me, this con list needs to be like five times the size it is, at least. You should not have a longer pro than a cons in this fucking mod. Lost in static. I need a. I need to add you as a friend, buddy, and recommend you some better fucking mods, dude. <laughs> I need to recommend you some better fucking mods. I've seen fucking gold source mods more visually impressive than this shit. First and foremost, visually speaking, this is the most impressive mod I've ever seen. Do you? I can recommend a lot. First and foremost, if you're talking about mods in general, uh, do you want to go play, you know, like any Half-Life, uh, any Bethesda games, texture packs, ENB fucking amazing Wonderbar 4K texture bullshit for like five minutes and then come back and say this is a fucking impressive mod, visually speaking? There's a, there's a fucking like lighting render that um, some people in the um, map labs competition did fucking blew everything else out of the water um, tons of custom textures reskins tons and tons of custom these are just people that know the mods shit look at this look at this you cannot recommend this mod you cannot Lost in Static, I know you're being kind. I know you're being kind to the kind modders that made this mod, that made this free content. But you can't recommend a mod if this is the nice stuff you have to say and this is the bad stuff. You can't do it. For a community mod, it's pretty good. No, it's not, dude. Yet again, I... I... 
Mystery Combat Man had more thought put into its level design than this. <laughs> that fucking Trump mod where he destroys Hillary's email servers was more technically proficient than this Greetings, mod was. Brother. That has to be paid. They must have been like, hey, dude, you want 10 bucks? Okay, wait, I have to read this. I finally give it a try and it delivers a good experience. The world setting represents post-apocalyptic setting based on Half-Life 2 universe, yet somehow gives strong feeling of despair and mystery. The game starts in survivalist theme where you need to find weapons and ammo around a large island. It presents itself in a non-linear approach and encourages the player to explore. Yes, explore straight into the level progress, um, which completely invalidates all of the first level and just jumps you straight to the second one. Then it sends you to the main hub that allows you to replenish ammo, health, check missing. Yeah, it then sends you to the main hub. By then sends you, it means literally instantly sends you there and doesn't tell you what the fuck the main hub is and gives you a shit ton of ammo and health. It's not a dev room, it's the main, main hub. The gameplay serves you... The gameplay serves you in both heavy pack of action... <laughs> Greetings, brother. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, yes. This mod has... Heavy pack of action. <laughs> Explosion. Sorry, I can't do a Russian accent. To save my fucking life. This gameplay serves you in both heavy pack of action and exploration to find extra ammo. Most weapons are reskinned Half-Life 2 weapons with a few changed animations, which I'm totally fine. <laughs> I'm glad you're okay after completing this mod, Dinny, because I'm fucking not... I'm fucking not, that's for sure. I'm not totally fine. I feel like, I feel like I've relapsed. <laughs> oh. The game will to various areas and some of level designs are very stunning with details and lighting. Because of custom textures and particle effects somehow remind me of Stalker series and it fits very well. Wouldn't put it past them to have stolen some stalker assets and just chucked them into the source engine. <laughs> Although art the artistic visual is a strong point, but it doesn't always work in some sections. Most of the time you'll be stuck because the mod lacks visual guideline. Visually guideline. I can't tell which is more annoying. My dyslexia or this reviewer's grammar and spelling. Uh, the landmark should tell you where to go, but it's not as most of the objectives are blend together with very dark corridor or very small segment. The pacing changes dramatically from great opening area to dark narrow corridors. Traditions in the last few areas are inconsistent. That's, that's a very polite way to say shit and lack of, <laughs> lack of strong explanation. Or any explanation, really. Even even the ones that kind of sound like they're written by the developer's family and friends still point out that it's fucking garbage. Fast Detect has a lot of potential to be a great mod. Just start over. Just fucking scrap it and start again. Keep some of the, the, the gun textures and stuff. Everything else, chuck out the door, start again. Maybe this time with a story? Of some description, not just, I need to find the main entrance. Launch nukes now. There we go. We win. Bam. Done. Oh, sorry. I need to find civilization and electricity. I need to find the main entrance. Nukes. There we go. That was a much more succinct explanation of, of that mod, really. Um, the Kovlorx guy has 1,900 hours. In source. 
Uh, but he's a nice dude. This dude's a nice dude. Look, he's he's a nice guy. He's a guy trying to encourage people to make stuff in the community. Meanwhile, I'm over here being a nothing but a leech and just stealing people's content and just taking it, making videos on it and being like, wow, that was a good mod or wow, that was a shit mod. Anyway, either way, I get paid. I get paid more than a lot of the devs that make these things ever do for their content. I've probably been paid more for Half-Life Echoes than the mod developer himself. I, I do feel bad sometimes about that. I really do. Like, Shelly hates himself. Uh, no, no, no. I don't hate myself. But I, I'm well aware that I'm very lucky to have a, a community that makes mods like this. And that I can play them. And I'm always a little bit self-conscious of shitting talk, shit-talking mods. When it's just somebody's passion project. In this case, however, don't feel too bad. Because this was shit. They didn't even try. They didn't even try. Um, if everything was competently put together. If it was just a string of maps competently put together. I wouldn't have cared. But the fact that they just gave up is hilarious. Um, this is a horrible mod. I agree, CCTV. You're right. I do not how know how this got on the Steam. I agree. And it definitely wasn't green lit due to how bad it is. So I'm guessing that developers paid the $100 entry fee to get a page on Steam and upload this. I hope the developers were charged for developing such a shitty mod. I hope that they came out of this $100 worse off than when they began. Because... I mean, I may be taking a little bit too far here, but, <laughs> but, you did see how heated I got. I <laughs> there is no story as far as I can tell. That's where you're wrong. It was a man and he's hunting for the main entrance. Um, perhaps. I'm not 100%. I may be wrong. It was a man in his hunt for the main entrance and the button that launched the nukes. So so sad that Jolly didn't end read the end of that last view. This one? Oh, I can't fully recommend it to anyone, but you if you enjoy exploration and source visually, give it a try. I did read that. What do you mean? <laughs> sort of. Oh, uh, yeah. That one's okay. For a community mod, it isn't good. As somebody who's played a lot of community mods, every time I finish a community mod that is legitimately good, I go, holy fucking shit, that was good. What I would say is good for a community mod would be Winston Chronicles, um, hell, even the Forgotten Ones. Like, it's... A fucking mess. But it's quite obvious a lot of effort has gone into it. This I would not call good. I wouldn't call this good. I wouldn't call this even worth your time. This is not worth your time. This is a waste of five hours of your life. The weapons got new animations, some new models, but I just hate them. The only one that looks decent is the pulse rifle and the desert eagle. That's it. Yeah, and I'm... Crowbar is exactly the same. Gravity gun. Ammo counter. I won't forget for the ammo. Why the fuck do you think it'd be a smart idea to make the health bar and the ammo bar in between the stamina bar? It looks fucking horrible. Why'd you change? Yeah, this is not great. Oh dear. Yes. You know what? Wolf clock. You're not bad for a furry, my dude. You've, you've, oh dear, is the correct fucking reaction that's the correct title to your fucking review oh sweet lord it's awful not a single good thing to say about it bros none come to mind <laughs> oh my man my man you feel me fucking wolf clock hell yeah go team go team yes greetings brother and it was funny i want both
Both, please. I'll give it an award. Even an award? Yeah, I will you um 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 Furries like first off, right? Hot take. Go have it. Michelangelo. Poetry. Let's <laughs> give a watch. You deserve it. You deserve it, man. That's fucking poetry right there. <laughs> I don't even care about the rest of the review. That that was it. That, that wins. Um Cons, there's no discernible plot, yes. Half the assets are stolen from Game Banana. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it fucking stole shit! Some of that stuff was way too competent for the rest of the mod! Fucking knew it! I can't even ex- uh, Sound effects, a random mismatch between each- Yep. Zombies can play barnacle and outline guard noises, yep. Fast zombie scream is replaced by the stalker scream. I think it's to make them more spooky. Um, there's a giant floating Terminator head boss battle in the middle of the game for no apparent reason. <laughs> I didn't even think about the logic behind having the giant floating Terminator head. Yo, he's putting in more work than I am. What the fuck was the giant Terminator head? Why did we not question that? Why was it never questioned? It's never brought up again. That's not true. That's wrong. I beat the whole game without no clip. <laughs> and at least one spawns you in the void and hurdles you towards your death. No, actually, it turns out that's fine. You just turn around, you jump back onto the other thing, and then you press the button. It's fine, man. Time mod is horribly unoptimized. Yes. Oh, hey, I have that card. Oh, hey, I have that. Is this my ult? Um, three, three, no, I've got 395. No, I have a 390. I have the exact same setup. No, I have it. I have a 280 super. Sorry. I have a 280 super, not a 270. Oh, there we go. Why is your fucking CPU so beastly compared to your GPU? That shit's fucking nuts. And then that's, you should have spent more on your, your RTX than your 390, my dude. Jolly is a furry. No, but you know. Each map itself is ridiculously overscaled for no apparent reason. Yep. Um, overbearing, hard to look at, gets worse than mid 2000s in game in terms of how much bloom there is. Yeah, I did notice a lot of bloom. Some levels leave you without weapons at complete random. No, 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 no. He, they explain that. I'm going to go stealthy here and drop all of my weaponry. And then there's that other one where you do just lose all your weapons right at the end. But you know, one of them was explained. So, you know. Closed captions are in Russian with no option to change them. Lucky I didn't play with closed captions then. Well, there was really nothing to closed caption. What are you gonna fucking closed caption? Conclusion. In all, I will give this mod a generous 1 out of 10. Uh, simply because the game can launch and has gameplay, which is uh, in its heart, it is not fundamentally busted. Simply because it's just Half Life 2's gameplay, but done much worse. Do not download this mod. Save your hard drive space and look up a playthrough if you want to see it. Yeah, watch my playthrough, guys. Look up my playthrough. <laughs> Ah, uh, this guy's funny. Too bad. Game without story. This is horribly optimized. Too bad. Um, nice. Visually nice, but it's probably worse than... <laughs> I haven't played Gendry's Escape from City 13. G G Genry's Escape from City 13? What's this? I haven't played this. What is this? I must play this. Oh, it's Henry's. Henry's Escape from City thir 13. I should play this. Oh my god, it's a community mod. I should play. Yo, guys, found what, if, if I stream tomorrow, found what we're gonna play. 
Looks promising. Looks promising. Genry's escape from City 13. <laughs> oh, I've got that fucking rush, dude. I've got that fucking rush going now. Can't stop now. Can't stop now, guys. We've gone back down the shit Half-Life 2 mod fucking rabbit hole. We're not coming out for a while. Bad level design. That's an understatement. Just a poorly optimized mod with no story. That, yeah, that pretty much covers it. Sans Undertale Gaming. Very disappointed with this mod. Oh, bollocks! Isn't he like crazy? Isn't bollocks fucking nutso? Yeah, he posted it very early on. The NPCs? There are no NPCs. What NPCs? There were NPCs in October 2016? I don't think Gore's released yet. And I'd be scared to download something from them. I th I'd be scared it had like a Bitcoin miner in it or something. Bollocks is a racist abuser who shall not be trusted. Yeah. Yeah. English. See, to see this mod is not bad, but not good. No more. Start. You have to take on rivals without getting any weapons at the beginning. And if not, I could appreciate it. Because as the hell you want to kill someone if you don't have something with which you defend or the fucking lever. What well, little I played was a disappointment. Okay, he just sees Spanish. He gets a pass. <gasps> the Russian developer changed their name. Oh, is this another fucking uh, Gary's incident? Is this another Gary's incident where they just change their name a bunch and release a bunch of trash? Faster Text is a source engine Half-Life 2 developed and published by Russian developer Ubergun. As I have heard from the main description, the main purpose of this mod is to show post-apocalyptic environment from the arch a special point of view. So maybe it's more casual than an action-oriented experience. No, it isn't, dude. He 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 didn't even. Oh, I know. He's. I said he, he hasn't played. He hasn't played it in the last two weeks, guys. I don't know whether we can trust him. Um, I ain't, I ain't got really anything to talk about there. Hmm. 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 He didn't even finish it. He didn't even fucking finish it. You can't recommend something you didn't finish. How have you played 17 hours of this? Grez, what are you doing with your life, man? This is all right. You need me move this down a bit. This is the most unfinished, unpolished, uh, untested, unfinished, confusing, frustrating, and boring mod I've ever played in a long time. To avoid this, like the plague, there are plenty of other better options. You'll be spending much more uh, your time much more wisely. Do not repeat my mistakes. Seriously, this thing is bad as it sounds. Yeah, especially when you got seventeen hours on re record, mate. I think you gave this a little bit too much of a chance. You got stuck trying to do what you did. Yeah, I feel like my expertise in shitty source mods has helped me out thoroughly with this. Just sort of fucking about going, I can kind of understand what they want me to do here, so I'll just go ahead and do it. And, oh, look, that's what they wanted to do. That's what they wanted me to do. Probably left it running overnight oh, to see if it will crash. It's possible. Or just left it on in the background. 
I waited five years for this piece of crap. This is why you don't wait for, waste, wait for video games, guys. This is why you don't wait for video games. This is, the, 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 just don't. Just don't give a shit. Just don't give a shit until it is in your hands. Don't give a fuck. And then marketing will fucking die. Marketing will die. Marketing will have a fucking fit. They will fucking melt down. Because they go, hey guys, get ready for this product coming next year. And you go, I don't give a shit. I can't have it. So why should I care about it? No, but, but it, it, it's, it's coming next year. It's coming next year, guys. Why, why should I care? Can I play it? Uh, no, no, there's a five minute demo on the, on the Steam store. I don't really have time for that right now. No, but it's right here. Just, you have to wait. Pre-order it. Pre-order it, guys. Come on. Get hype. We're, we're making all these grandiose promises. Just don't give a shit until it's out. And if it's shit, then who cares? Who cares if it's shit? It's shit. What do you do? I didn't care. I didn't give two shits about it. I won't have a mental fucking breakdown because cyberpunk's a fucking shit game. What did I wait? What game did you wait five years for? Just joined. You've missed. You've missed a lot. You've missed a lot. It's been a long stream. Lots happened. <sighs> Had a great time. <laughs> oh, so great. Fucking loved it. Oh. <sighs> Cyberpunk is okay. I fucking hate Cyberpunk. A boring. Story has a main character that just sounds like he's trying way too hard to be cool. On top of that, then you also have Keanu Reeves trying way too hard to be cool. Just fuck off. Just fuck. Just stop talking. Stop talking. I understand it's an RPG. I understand there's talking. But Mass Effect does talking better than fucking cyberpunk. I don't want a 20 minute cutscene. And then another 20 minute cutscene, then five minutes of gunplay, and then somebody calling me up, talking to me about shit. And then another person calling me up, talking about shit. And then another person calling me up to talk about shit. It's just like, fuck off, guys. Fuck off. I don't need everything explained to me. And if I wanted to explain to me, I want the ability to change what's happening. That's the biggest caveat. If you're gonna fucking talk three through everything, I wanna be able to affect the gameplay. Fallout New Vegas. Sure, most of the time you end up at the same conclusion anyway. Fallout New Vegas. I will listen to you talk for 20 minutes and I will have a philosophical debate with you about why killing this man that's overdosing on drugs is either a good or a bad thing. Because I can affect the gameplay. It's not either just tell me more or I've heard enough about that shit. I don't, I don't, I don't want to have to deal with that. Uh, Half-Life to a bridge. You have to look through my um, unlisted videos. So find a playlist of, of all my things. Uh, yeah, I, hopefully, hopefully, annoyed gamer, I get more streams done. I just have to have people watch, and I have to get out the next, um, you know, thing my bob for it. <laughs> oh come on, that's mean to Wilson. That's mean to Wilson. It's not great, but it's no fucking fast detect. Wilson was was made with passion. Wilson, you can tell somebody's trying. Somebody's fucking trying their hardest. This, on the other hand, no. Next time you want to make a game set in the Half-Life universe, try setting the correct atmosphere. Also, why the fuck does a Terminator appear out of nowhere? <laughs> really should have mentioned that more. Really should have mentioned that more. Probably if I was editing this, I would edit in a little bit talking about the fucking Terminator. We just kind of glossed over the Terminator, didn't we? We didn't really go into depth about the Terminator. It just kind of happened, and then some other shit happened. So we didn't have time to think about why the fuck there was a Terminator. 
Playing this is a lot like watching Holy Mountain. There's little to no plot, and the plot it's that that is there is incoherent. I don't understand anything. I feel like I'm trapped in a fever dream. The only difference is the Holy Mountain is fun, and this isn't. Oh, lol, you mad! Ah, 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 no. Ah, no, GM Constructs got me covered. Uh, I don't need a pile on. I don't need a pile on. Can I? I can't like that shit. <laughs> oh. uh, just an expletive. If you're interested in making Half-Life 2 mods, play this mod and take notes because this game is the epitome of everything a Half-Life modo should not do. Hey, look, he's on the same page as me. They do not, uh, they even managed to make no clipping worse. Like, how the fuck do you do that? I didn't test out no clipping. Didn't have to because I'm just a fucking god gamer but that's good to know good night dr hosper you've you've, you've experienced everything there is here i broke your mod <laughs> no shit you broke the mod it's flying apart around you how can you not break your mod blue aces it's not much of a fucking achievement dude it's not much of a fucking achievement my man i'm sorry that's not an achievement that's like saying I fucking beat my grandma in a fight. Like, yeah, dude. Yeah, of course you did. She's fucking 80 years old. It's lucky she can even fucking stand up on her own volition at this point. 18 hours? A lot of imagination went into this game. Dude, the story is pretty much non-existent. I'm pretty sure somebody with no imagination at all could make this. The adventure is impressive to look at. Really, it just looks like a shitty fucking Half-Life mod to me. It did not, however, fall into line with the high standards of the Half-Life series. This isn't Half-Life 2. I'm glad you mentioned that. I'm glad you mentioned that. I could have been mistaken. It definitely felt like Episode 3. Definitely... Like, if you didn't tell me it was a mod, I wouldn't have figured it out. Truly the Half-Life echoes of uh, Half-Life 2. It plays more like Portal. In the sense that the action happens in giant rooms with impressive depiction. It plays more like Portal. The game with puzzles in it and no combat at all uh, 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 okay but there is little action in gameplay what and no relevance in the scheme of the plot or the prevalence of problem solving strategy indicative. Right, are you writing an essay, man? Are you handle handing this up to your English teacher and just sort of putting in words to increase the word count? Of Freeman's previous adventures. You're not fucking Gordon Freeman. Are you Gordon Freeman in this? You're not Gordon Freeman in this, are you? That's new. That's news to me. Big rooms with no connection equal portal. I guess. Considering it's free to play, that is not something you have to consider. That is not something you have to consider. Fucking Team Fortress 2 is free to play. That is not an excuse. I can't complain too terribly much. Yes, you can. It's the only way people will improve. If you kick them down into the mud and fucking just throw shit in their face. Kick them while they're down. It's worth the right. It really isn't. It's not worth 18 hours of your life. It's not worth 18 hours of your life.
Also, by the way, 13 hours on time of review. So that is implying he went back and played it for a little bit longer. Just want to just wanna let that sink in. He, he, he came back to it. He came back to it. <sighs> he came, why did you go back? Why did you go back? What was left? What was left? Mate, you, you, it doesn't matter how inconsequential your job is in society. There was, there was something you could do with your time. Paint a picture. Learn an instrument. Anything is better than playing this mod again. But if I had to pay for this game, I would be disappointed. Look, man, I didn't even pay for this game and I was fucking disappointed. I expected nothing and I was disappointed. I just finished it a few minutes ago. And I don't have any idea why the game is called Fast Detect. That's a good point. Why is it called Fast Detect? You are neither, it's neither fast nor do you detect shit. It should be called... <laughs> 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 I don't know. Launch the nukes. Find the main entrance. Perhaps. No, it should be called perhaps. Perhaps. There we go. Because then you get about halfway through and he says the title of the mod. And then you go, oh shit, that's the title of the mod. Maybe this is some sort of suicide squad. <laughs> uh... And I don't have any idea why the game is called Fast Attack, nor do I understand the final room in which the game concludes. Did we win? <laughs> you can't recommend something when you don't know how it fucking ended! You can't be like, yeah, I liked it. Don't know what the fuck happened, but it was fun. It was fu I don't sh Did we win? What happened at the end? I don't know. The last room was confusing. I had a great time. 10 out of 10. Voice gone tomorrow? Very possibly. <laughs> you can't recommend something! And then the first thing you say is pretty dire, to be perfectly honest. Pretty dire. I recommend it. It's fucking abysmal. But, you know, I had a great time. Very buggy, stupidly open levels with no substance, just long frustrating walks with mindless enemies. There was absolutely no plot from what I could make it out either. Aside from all that, I managed to play through this game via cop with a good friend of mine and it was absolutely hilarious. Don't recommend something because it's funny! Unless it's meant to be funny, in which case, go right ahead. You can absolutely recommend things that are funny if they're meant to be funny. Uh, I don't know how you got into co-op, but that's cool. Even wrote a guide how to do it and you- Oh, cool. Hey, digital. I could have subjected digital to this. Dang it. Fuck. Should I pretend I haven't played it and gaslight him? And just be like, hey, digital. Got a fun mod for us to play today. <laughs> hey, digital. I want to show you the best Half-Life modding has to offer. <laughs> and, then, and then do it again with Rimmy. Do it again with Rimmy. Just fucking keep just ruining friendships. If I don't want to talk to somebody else anymore, I just fucking get them to play Fast Detect Co-op with me. He was here, you saw him. Yeah, I'll gaslight him. Oh no, it wasn't this. It was, it was, that was Wilson Chronicles. It wasn't this. I base my reviews on the adjournment I received from playing game. It's not, you can't, you can't do that. You, the only reason it was fun is because you've got somebody else to come with you and fuck about. I'm giving this mod to Ed the editor, the dude that did the half uh, did Dark Souls Part Two, and will be getting out of Dark Souls Part One soon. Um. <laughs> Don't play unless you hate yourself and want to punish yourself with unfair, unfun, and tedious gameplay. Hey, look! Mm. I think this is the mod for me, guys. 
Oh, I should have read this review before I played it because there's there's a reason. There's a reason. I love this stream. Files Detect is not a good mod. Yes, don't waste your time installing and playing this. Just read the negative reviews. Trust me, this game is not finished. This is not just bad. This is bad. <laughs> Uh, this is this is this is a paid bot. This is a paid Russian shill right here. Where's the subliminal message telling me to vote for Trump in 2015? I am very, very happy to find that over 12 years after Half-Life 2, people are still working on and keeping the flame alive. Fast Detect has deeply impressed me, and without hyperbolism. Shit, fuck. Without hyperbolism, it's one of the best Half-Life 2 mods I have ever played. Some people may say that the Source engine is outdated. Outdated since years. But it doesn't matter. Because of the of the excellent gameplay. And the highly oppressive and dystopic atmosphere. I also see that the creators worked with much blood, sweat, and tears on every detail, which makes this one unique. Thank you for this experience. I hope Fast Detect 2 can be realized. What's the best? That that's one of the mod devs on like an alt account. What's Fenris? What's Fenris up to? His profile is private. It's a paid shill. Paid shill. Twitter delete his account. He's a bot. You do realize he's being sarcastic. His profile's private and he recommended the mod. So I don't think he's being sarcastic. If it was a negative... The only, like, mentally deficient people leave fucking Steam reviews. Like, 50% of the people that have reviewed shit so far, that have reviewed Fast Attack so far, seem to be slightly mentally deficient. Is it just me? Wait, where was the 35 hours? We'll get back to the 35 hours later. 5.3 hours. You have to try this game. Either... You Either you're a Half-Life lover or not. Yes, in fact, either you like Half-Life or you don't like Half-Life. There is no other state you can possibly be in other than not knowing about Half-Life, so I guess there is another state. Why it can be called game, not a mod? Well, it's very hard not to notice all the custom content made here. Not to mention the whole atmosphere. You got that right. There are a few moments that can annoy you, like 90% of the game, but 85% of the game is pure new experience based on fan-made work and not some commercial targeted project. Yeah, because if they'd done any sort of market research, they'd realize it was a fucking terrible mod and they should just throw it all in the bin. They've got like five playtesters. And every single one of them had told them that it's literally worse than just sitting and watching paint dry. I, I think they would have maybe had second thoughts about releasing this to the public. Where's 35 hours? <laughs> Why do you have 35 hours on record, Hugh Douglas? What is wrong with you? Child. Child. It's a child. It's a child. He has a limited data cap. 
lives somewhere where there's only, where, where data caps are like data is at a premium. He saw a mod for Half-Life 2 and went, that looks cool. That looks cool. I want to download that. He downloaded that. He used up mummy and daddy's internet cap for that month. That explains why he wrote in all caps, I really hate fast detect. I put this to easy mode, but it's still hard. The NPCs can kill me really quickly. And he wasted his mummy's and daddy's internet cap and then downloaded it. Just wasted form lives. I don't get... Guys, I don't think you, you're quite getting this. If I wasn't streaming right now, I wouldn't have... I wouldn't have played this for four hours. I would have got halfway through the first level and quit. And quit. Why people think, well, I'm here. It, it's the same logic as biting into a sandwich and just literally seeing the employee's spit dribble out of it and being like, well, I've got the sandwich in my hands. Could go get another sandwich. But no, I'm just going to complain about it on the Google app and just... That was terrible. That was terrible. I don't even think it was cooked right. Oh. Could have another one though. Does anybody, anybody got another one? Like, what the? Don't finish it. It's so... Maybe it'll get better. Maybe, maybe these last couple of bites will be better. Oh. No, no, still shit. Still shit. It's like, get like halfway through and be like, that, it, it's shit. <laughs> Stop eating it. It's literal garbage in my hands. A pig would not eat this if you put it in its trough, let alone a human being. A child wouldn't play this. Uh, maybe. Well, okay. It was a very hard to find a way back little... Well, okay, it is, it is very hard to find a way back a little. Well, okay, it is very hard to find a way back a little. Sorry, I had to read that three times to make sure I was saying it right. Bouncy bear. Well, okay, it was very hard to find a way back a little. Cool custom models, no expensive crowbar. It is boring to play. In Half-Life 2, it was clear where you go. And was puzzles. <laughs> Many were without useful places. For the fan, you can go. Was this written by an algorithm? But are you? Oh, he might. He might be a little special. Or English isn't his first language. Bouncy bears in English. Really bad mod. It's not a good mod. <laughs> well, this guy's more polite than this one. This guy's like, yeah, it's definitely not good. And this guy's like, it's shit. It's terrible. Fuck off. Maybe you should stop making fun of kids and the disabled and foreigners. Sick. I'm not making fun of them. I'm reading out their hilariously poorly worded reviews. I'll make fun of children as much as I want. Actually, fuck off. I'll make fun of children all the time. Not people with mental disabilities, because that's a dick move. But making fun of children? When a toddler falls over and isn't horribly hurt, it's hilarious. A, a child says something extremely stupid and inappropriate? That's hilarious. As long as I'm not hurting them. It's not like I'm saying, hey, go dedox this person and call them shit for their fucking poorly worded review. The entire thing is just confusing. Like, where the heck am I supposed to go when I start? It's not clear. You go into the fl floaty thing and then you skip the whole level. <laughs> Why? 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 I don't even remember playing it, but I recommend it. <laughs> Fuck off. 
I was fucking pissed when I played this. I was off my fucking rocker. But I think I liked it. I have a feeling I liked it. <laughs> After eight years of development, this is more disappointing than my life. Not optimized mod. What's the story again? Implying there was one. Good, but not good enough. Bad mod. That's all I can say. This was full of stolen assets. In a world where the Half-Life 2 team has one member, the environmental artist. Bum, bum, bum. I don't recommend something. That's one out of three. That's not a recommend, my dude. Although his profile picture and, and his, his name makes sense. Durf. The main word you'll be saying in this game is what? You're right. You get an upvote for that. You get an up, dude. You get a Reddit upvote. Five and a half out of ten. Oh, you're far too kind. Oh, wait, is there a... Was there a longer review? What? <laughs> Graphics gnome? Gameplay gnome? Audio, who the fuck wrote this? Fuck off, Steven. Get out of my head. I hate gnomes. <laughs> Audience Easy requirements, gnome. Difficulty, gnome. Grind, gnome. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking done. That one wins. Stephen. <laughs> Fuck you with your gnome. Oh, I'm glad so many people bothered to write reviews on this piece of shit. Okay. Let's get back to fast detect. Is there a longer? <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh no! The experimental graphic story Fast Attack takes place in the post-apocalyptic Half-Life 2 universe and is shown from the artist's special point of view. The players usually rush along, forgetful of everything, caught in perilous skirmishes and long fights and sometimes not even noticing how deep and meaningful and how deep the meaning of their surroundings is unique architecture forms complexes of facilities and diversity of flora mystery play of light and chilling piercing sound mysterious play of Light and chilling. I didn't say that wrong, did I? Unique architecture forms, complexes of facilities, and diversity, diversity, diversity of flora, mystery play of light and chilling, piercing. I, sorry, I thought I dyslexic that. I didn't. Take a stop, come to your sense, and look around. This may help you and even save your life. Or at least save you from playing this mod. As you take a second, you come to your senses and realize, maybe I should stop playing this piece of shit. You know, maybe I, maybe I should just stop now. It's kind of shit. I'm gonna go play something else. Because God knows if I wasn't playing this on stream, that's exactly what I would have done. Save your life. Save your precious life. Spend it on something else. Because this isn't worth it. Oh. Hey, 69. Nice. 
<sighs> Even the devs are trying to tell you not to play it. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember which map labs it was. It was one of the newer ones where they did like a really experimental lighting setup and it was really pretty. But it was quite clearly not optimized. <laughs> Dwarf or Lolo? Thank you for the tier one for 21 months. Thank you, Mr. Alex, for the prime for 13 months. Oh, hey, did I miss everything? No, you, you, this was the best part of the stream by a mile. Uh. Oh, I'm sorry I keep burping into the microphone like a fucking slob. Thank you, Tanya Sapin, for the 200 bits. Except for all the shite, it's okay, I swear. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Aurora Ryong, thank you very much for the 2 on for 14 months. Thank you, Jive Turtle, for the Prime. Thank you, It Ya Boy Ellie. Thank you very much for the tier one. Thank you very much to the Outlander for the $10. Thank you Outlander for the $10. So I was reading chat. Did I just say that twice? I did. Hello, this is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Jolly, you've become stuck in a dream. Don't worry, we'll be working hard right now to get you out of it. Please don't continue going into else it'll turn into your worst nightmare. I don't know. My worst nightmare isn't the nukes being launched. I think my worst nightmare is the end of that mod being the start of the mod again and everybody in chat screaming at me that I have to keep playing um, and then me just playing indefinitely as night and day blurs into one and I just have to keep repeating this mod over and over and new bugs appear every time and things change just the tiniest bit and just I never get to leave it. Uh, no bueno. Thank you very much for the Prime. 14 months. Woo, yeah, baby. Glenanga. Longer. Thank you very much, Naomi Otem. This entire mod is like one big script error. I hope to get to recover mentally sooner than later. Love heart. Thank you very much for the 500 bits. I appreciate it. I can't play Doki Doki Literature Club because I know the, all the twists and turns in Doki Doki Literature Club. I watched playthroughs of it, guys. It's like saying play the Stanley Parable. I can't play the Stanley Parable. I know what the Stanley Parable is. If you know what the thing is, it's completely wasted on you. So do you recommend the mods? <laughs> yes. Yes, go play it. It's a great use of your time. I'm going to do a fucking... Um, oh, what's his name? Uh, Talentless Hack. Uh, the dude who, who, who reviewed the wall movie where he just spent two hours shitting on the wall and then at the end was like, eh, it's not that bad. It's like a solid six out of ten. Is the mod free? Yes, but also is Team Fortress 2 and about a million other games. Apex Legends, free. Worth your time, more than this. Nostalgia Critic, that's the one. God. Watching the breakdowns of just how shit his review of that thing is. What do you think of Subnautica? Never played it. Watched a bit of Digi playing it. Don't like crafting in video games. Uh, thank you, Annoyed Gamer. <laughs> the, the difference between what the correct solution is and not the correct solution is decided by a mad monk that has long lost his sense of sanity and reads the blood of a dying man that then tells the dev what to do. Yeah. Mr. Cheese the Third? Hosted me two hours ago, you bastard. Uh, Trovic, thank you for gifting a sub to it. It's your boy, your boy, year. Hog kissed. Thank you very much, Naomi Autumn, for the 500 bits. Someone is forcing you to play this, or are you a masochist? The latter. It's six o'clock. I've been live for almost seven hours. I'm, I'm taking off my headphones. My ears. My ears. It's PM. One hour of that was reviews. True. 
But I feel like they were some of the funniest shit of this stream. Annoyed, I hope you enjoyed. I, I, I don't know. You're probably a good litmus test. Were those funny? I think those were fucking hilarious because I enjoyed them thoroughly. Uh, thank you very much, Neospike, for the team for two months. Thanks to Trollvik for my sub. If Trollvik's still here, probably isn't, but he might watch this stream back later. In which case, thanks, Trollvik. Thank you, Annoyed Gamer, for the $10. You're going back to your roots. How much do I have to pay for a drawing? I know you'll pay more than any normal person should for your great drawing skills. Annoyed. Depends on what you're telling me to draw. Hey, Naomi Auto. No, is Naomi still here? Probably not, right? Ah, shit. Uh, wait, I spelled it wrong. Haha, <laughs> I spelled it wrong. Hey, they're still here. How are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Oh, I felt it. I felt many things. Jolly, always loved your stuff. And you always act crazy, or just you. Honestly, can't you can't script Jolly. No, because what I, it seems like I have a, I have a random dice. And whatever, whatever fucking roll I land on for... Don't know why I went out of focus there. Apparently a ghost just came in between me and the screen. Um, shoving its big old balls in my face. Um, it, it, it seems like I roll a dice for what attitude I'm going to bring to stream, right? Sometimes I bring tuba, just full on fucking screaming at the top of my lungs. Sometimes I seem to be like reclusive and you could almost mistake me for smart. Um, and then sometimes I'm just a fucking idiot and having a great... I really like the streams where I'm a fucking idiot and just like either the game's so handholdy that I don't have to try, I don't have to think, therefore I can just switch off my brain and be an idiot. Or alternatively, in the case of that Dread Hunger stream, which I'm editing right now, which is fucking hilarious in my opinion, Really mad that I turned on my webcam so much during Dread Hunger because every time I turned on a webcam, it was just me going, I, I'm a ghost now. Um, but other than that, that stream is fucking hilarious because I did not think the whole way through and I got an A and an S ranking. I fucking dominated. I was the fucking linchpin to that whole entire crew's success. And that last playthrough where just everything went wrong for everyone but me is some of the funniest fucking shit I think I've watched from my stream. Just you could not script it. It is just the perfect example of the sort of shit that happens to me where it's like, this is not... If you told me that we'd all set it up to do that, I would have believed you. Just like, I just, I cannot believe what happened. I, I, I need a, I need a, do I have it? Do I have it here? I think I might have left it at home. Not, not, not that. But there's just a moment. There, there's, there's a moment where everything just goes wrong. And I do not get affected by everything going wrong. And it is one of the funniest fucking moments it's one of the funniest fucking moments i think on my stream full stop oh no a tangent <laughs> fuck you it's not a tangent it's kind of a tangent it's a tangent give me a second oh i don't no i can't do this because it has to it has to verify no okay i can't do this because it, it hasn't it hasn't got a cached file shit But it's just fucking hilarious. There's just a moment where two people kill themselves back to back. Like I am, I am hunting for coal. So I've got my coal and I just got coal and I turn around and watch Remy just explode, just blow up. And I just turn around and I'm like, R right? Okay. So then there are three crew members left and I'm walking back Another one dies. Not sure what the other one died from. And I walk over and I pick up the explodey box that he just... I really shouldn't explain this because it kind of... It's kind of the one really funny moment that I'm not explaining particularly well. But I pick up the explodey box. It's a box full of nitroglycerin that Rimmy just blew himself up on. And I start walking back to the ship thinking it needs to be taken to the ship so that we can use it. 
to get out of here. Turns out it needs to be taken to the ice wall. I just can't explain it. Trust me on trust me on this. When you watch it in the video, it'll be really funny. I know what I'm doing. I'm doing that thing that people do where they explain a funny moment back and it's not funny. It's not even entertaining. So I'm sorry. I'll stop. I'll stop. I know this is a bad thing. My brother does it to me all the time where he explains something that's really funny in the least funny way possible. Go watch my Dread Hunger stream. It's fucking hilarious. It's like three hours long. It's worth your time. Uh, thank you, Trovic, for gifting a sub to Naomi Autumn. Thank you, Trovic, for a $10. For the $10. Actually, Tro thank, thank you for all this stuff if you're still here. Bye, Blue. Bye-bye. Thank you, Elongated Cheerios. Are you still here, dude? My dude, please still be here. Yeah, you are. Hell yeah. Thank you very much for the five gifted subs, buddy. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that massively. Cheers. Jolly, do you use light mode? No, you fucks. I've just got my... I've just got that open in the background. So I, I've got some light on my face. My screen is very bright. And my room is very dark. Is mod going on any channel? I'm giving this mod to Ed the editor. Don't know how he'll do with it. But I want to see what happens. I want to see. I want to see what he can do with it. Something very different from what he, what he usually edits. Yeah, troll left for the night, but he he knows. He's such a regular donator that he knows. He knows what what's up with me thanking subs and stuff. The Crystalon, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you as always, Crystalon. You're a constant generous supporter, so thank you. And thank you, Annoyed, for the 25. But I think Annoyed's already well aware that I appreciate his existence massively. Was going to try and say you're fine. <laughs> try, try to talk water in your mouth. Yeah, I lost it there for a little while, didn't I? I lost... I full-on lost it there for a little while. <laughs> My mind just stopped functioning. I couldn't process what I was seeing and what I was doing. My God, so many people are leaving. Yeah, of course. It's the end of the stream. They drove it for the $10. They read CA for the T-On for 20 months. Jelly splat, jelly splat. Thank you, Troll. Thank you, the Crystalon. Thank you, Red CA. Always sporting. You've got the bird profile picture on, on Twitter. I, I notice you. Jolly, there's no way forward in the first level without using the dev room. I've wasted a fucking hour. <laughs> Thank you, the Root DX, for the 500 bits. <laughs> I'm glad to know there was no way forward. I knew it was the fucking answer. It was too obvious not to be the answer. <laughs> he was watching me. He was watching me while I was doing it. It's fine. Grab knock, thank you for the deal on four months. Well, howdy, neighbor. Well, howdy. Uh, thank you very much. Trolvik for gifting a sub. Thank you very much. Trolvik, Trolvik, Trolvik. Fironosis TTV, thank you for the prime for three months. I, I think I missed you, I'm sorry. Trolvik, thank you for gifting a sub to, to Size Fear. Thank you very much, Trolvik, for gifting all those subs. And donate Trolvik just fucking Bukaki's money all over my face. Ivan Monroe, thank you very much for the prime. Happy you're not here anymore, are you happy? Happy's still here. How is Happy still even here? Thank you very much for the two on for 33 months, Happy. 33 months already? Damn, three more months and I'll be three years. Yeah. I think I'm coming up on my four year anniversary of streaming. Time fucking flies. Jolly is going to forget me, I guess. No, I'll thank you after I thank one heckler for the prime for two months. I was playing Roomba with the friends the other night. I was playing Roomba with my friends the other night. Congratulations? Don't know how you play Roomba, but... Okay, six snake. They were two on for ten months. Fun fact: some snakes can lick their own forehead. Yeah, they have long tongues. Is that 
thought you were gonna say you can lick something else. I thought it was I thought that was gonna be sexual for some reason. Why oh, stop hosting me, you fucks. Um, thank you very much, Steel Bear Punch, for the tier one for nine months. Hey, can finally see a stream of you live. Whoop whoop. Yep. I thank you, Steven Cool Overdose for the ten dollars. Thank you, Rasta, for the twelve. It's been an entire year of subbing, an entire year. Thank you for the entertaining you for over a year or more. Thank you, Rasha. Thank you very much, Long River Valley, for two hundred fifty months. I provide money, you provide the funny. This is the transaction. I won't hold up in a court of law. Thank you, Jimo, for two hundred. Thank you, TF2 Gamer. There we go. I think. Oh shit. Did I did I miss which titch? The Mexican baguette. I missed a lot of people. Oh shit. Thank you, the Mexican baguette, for the prime of three months. Thank you very much to the Prime. Thank you, Kodak Cal, for the 300 bits. Jolly, it's about six hours past my usual bedtime. But it's the first time I was able to catch a stream, and I completely ignored you, and you're definitely asleep at this point. But thank you very much. Thank you for the Prime for 28 months. T9, Team K9, K, 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 K. I'm out of focus. I don't have to make sense. Burning Snowman. Thank you very much for the tier one. Thank you, Rude TRX. 200 bits. Oh, Wichichich. Wichichich. You're still here. Hey, Wichichich. Yes, I thanked you for your prime sub. Only five hours late. You know, I'm not fucking Amazon. I don't have same day shipping. Same hour sub thinking. It's not pronounced like that. It's the best you're going to get, Wichichich. See, I said your name wrong three times. You should be thankful. Uh, thank you very much, Ivan Munro, for gifting a sub to Wallu. Commander Cactus. And I think we're done. Big Fig Wasp. Did I thank Big Fig Wasp? I don't know. Can I has feed? Did I thank these people? Big wasp big love for the 25 months did i ever thank these people i can i has feed for the t on for seven months it's crazy c130 i d d devil dragon devil 32 prime for six months five months i uh, yeah i thank these people i thank these people i don't think i missed anyone that's good that's good i'm done now dwarf of lola thank you for the t on for 21 months right that was a weird stream. Mr. Man, have you tuned into many of my streams? A lot of my streams like that. How do I explain? It's like we ta chi. Which chi? Which chi? Life's hard. Not as hard as I am.